All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back in the Nine Club experience, everybody. Listen, today, episode 43, Raj. You sure? You get that? Is that 43? 43? Yeah. 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 Come on now. <laughs> Listen, we got a great show lined up. Great show. I'm in, a, I'm in the best mood ever, Raj. I'm in the best the fucking first. mood. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because Kelly's not here. We got a replacement. <laughs> oh, Big oh, Hen Dog Yo! is Yo. joining us. Burr, burr, burr. Over Yo. in the corner with Steezus Christ. Look at this. Just, Big Hen Dog and Steezus Christ in the hey, corner. Beautiful. Huh? You don't Look get at that. no better. You feel a- me? AKA yeah. Henry, Henry Yarrow. Yeah. yeah, I'm just I'm just excited that it's like, you know, Black History Month just ended, mm-hmm. and now Max. you got Caesar and I here. Yeah, Max, it's a beautiful thing. It's a day late, but you know what? You know what? <laughs> well, well, a, I, when this airs, it'll be a few days late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. F- FYI, uh, you know, okay, we're okay. we're a little ahead of the curve over here. We're behind it, but uh, <laughs> there you go. We're behind. <laughs> Behind in front, yeah. We deserve more than a month. You're right. You're exactly. right. Reparations. But welcome, dude. Thanks for uh, filling in for Kelly while he's out on uh, uh, Tampa Am. Oh no, Tampa Pro. Tampa Pro. He's out judging Tampa Pro this weekend. What do you think he's doing right now, dude? <laughs> he's doing a lot of that. <laughs> laughing at something, dude. Yeah, he's a, he's definitely an Ebor laughing at something. He's got no business <laughs> yeah, laughing exactly. at. I'm surprised we can't hear him from here. But um, if he didn't closely. have he didn't have his button. He didn't yeah, have his yeah, button. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, thanks for thanks for joining us. Thanks for filling in. Yes. Thank you guys for having me. You know. Yeah, of course. There's gonna I be a lot of teeth came... showing over here. I can I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I came bearing gifts. Or Did you? Really, just one gift. One gift. Yeah. Okay. Should we unveil it now? Is please, it time? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, no, no time but the present. Man. You ready? Let's do it. Literally. Right, so this is really from. So you're gonna bring your own gift and then open your own gift for us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So this is really from Josh Terrace, you know, who works at the Huff store as well. Okay. For those that don't know, Big Hand Dog works at the Huff store on Fairfax. Mm-hmm. And yeah. he wanted me to give this to you guys personally. Okay. Are you ready? We're ready as I'll ever be. Let's hear it. Let's see it. It's a, some type of painting. It's paper. Yeah. There we go. Double wrap. Dude, all crazy. All crazy wrap. Let's see. What do we got here? We got a photo Dang. of myself, uh, Big Hen, Manchild, and Manchild. And Manchild. Where was those the fuck? are three cool motherfuckers That's right there? Exa- absolutely. So let me tell you just the meaning behind this photo here. This is a very special photo. Okay. Okay. We call this one Black Skaters. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And as Chris is a heel flipper. Yes. <laughs> Your honorary. I'm an honorary member. <laughs> yeah, Manchild's probably like light skin. He's got some heel flips in him, but okay. like, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's probably half black, half white. We so. could have cropped Manchild out a little bit, but yeah. you know. But it works. Okay. <laughs> so I don't, know. I don't know where you want me to put this, but. Dude, let's. Uh, will you, yeah, Albert, get, will you go grab it, that, it, bro? I get it, I get it. We, we could put it up. We'll put it up right up behind me over here. Amazing. Rush. Thank you. Thank you, Big Hen Dog, and thank you. Uh, what was Josh. the name? Josh Terrace. Josh Terrace. Did you shoot the that. photo? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I'm an honorary member. That's pretty mm-hmm. sick. No, but thank you, uh, Big Hand Dog and uh, Ter- um, Josh Terrace. Josh, Josh Terrace. 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 That. Look at that beautiful mm-hmm. photo. Me, Big Hand Dog, and uh, Manchild. Damn, huh? it's already on the wall. It's already on the wall. It's boom. Uh, yeah. Raj quick. is good. Raj is good. Um, but yeah, we got a great show. We got a great show. Kelly will be back next episode. Uh, it's next a great episode. show because always on here. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm in the best mood ever. <laughs> How you doing today, Steez? Is everything good? Yeah, man. This is uh, an unusual filming day for us, but you know, yeah. we're making it work. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Do what that's we got to right. do. Yeah, you know, know, to, the, the art don't make itself. We had to. For those of you who don't know, don't know, we we film this on a weekend, usually on a Sunday. Put it out on a Wednesday. Eldridge is going to be out of town this weekend. Kelly's already out of town, so we said, "Hey, we got to do this Friday." So we're yep. doing it Friday. Mm-hmm. So everybody that something else comes out on a Sunday this weekend or Monday, and they did ask why we don't yeah, talk about don't, it. Yeah, that's why. If we don't talk about who won Tampa Pro, because. It hasn't happened. Yet. Yeah, we we, we, don't <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Who who you got? Who's your prediction? If you had a guess of all the professional skateboarders that are at Tampa right now, who would you pick? Is Felipe in it? Most likely. I'd say Felipe. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah, because okay. it's part of SLS now. So I think. Oh, it's is like, it? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like it was his birthday for, recently. I think it's only pro skater Eldridge knows. <laughs> <laughs> And I pronounced his name wrong at that fucking thing. <laughs> that was that was a hard one. But listen, man, it's gonna be great. We have a couple. We have a bunch of stuff to talk about, man. We're gonna get to uh, 
couple things, man. We're going to pick a winner from last uh, episode's uh, Super Chat mm-hmm. donations. We're going to do that a little bit later in the show. Going to hook them up. Going to hook them up with uh, something from the background. That's what we do. We we'll pick yep. like three winners. Or just something from the house. What? Random crap. How you doing, Eldridge? <laughs> Everything good? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Nice couple weeks off. Couple, Back at it? Yeah. Just, yeah. Got a little sunburn today, I so can see that. Yep. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Wasn't even no sun out today. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> White people problems, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently doesn't have to be sun. I went skating. Apparently. I feel like I got burnt. You got burnt too. I feel like I did. Yeah, you can get burnt without the sun. It's yeah. more. You get burnt more. How, yeah. What? Yeah, this is shit we have to deal with over I've here. Never had. I'm sure you. I've never had a sunburn a day in my life. <laughs> no, actually. I've had one, I think. <laughs> because I was like talking a lot of shit. Like, black people don't get sunburned. Like, that doesn't happen. Right. I like laid out at the beach for like two hours. My skin was fucked up. I was she like, was, yo, she what? was hot. Dude. What happened? It was weird. I don't know. I just had this like weird. I don't know if it was sunburned. You probably hot? got sun poisoning. Do you feel hot? It was like, no, nah, I didn't feel hot. It was like, I don't know. I can't even remember. Sensitive, just, sensitive was, skin? Nah, he was just dehydrated. Yeah, all that's all. <laughs> I was just hungover. <laughs> <laughs> At the beach. Sandy. We don't get burnt. We just get darker. Like in the summertime, you can't see my tattoos at all. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, I'm just dark as shit. But it's like, you know, when you pour milk into iced coffee, it's like light up here. And oh. then it just like gradually gets darker. <laughs> so you, you do get a little bit of a farmer's tan. A little, little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. I was I was plagued with farmer's tans my whole life. I probably still have still it. Are. Yeah, for sure you do. Probably it was always the best it. when homies would wear like wife beaters and get that. Tan. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. God, I was always too skinny for a wife beater. Mm-mm. Not a yeah. good, not a good look. Not a good look. No tank tops or anything. No. Oh, Tube no. Top. No way. No way. <laughs> Let's get this started, huh? What do you want to talk about? Well, we got a bunch of stuff to talk about. I think we'll breeze right through them today because I've got a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff happened in two weeks. Shit. Yeah. Shit tons. <laughs> um, well, let's start off with uh, Sammy Montan- Mon- Montanano. Mon- Montano. Montano? Sonny, Sonny, Sammy Montano? Sammy Montano. <laughs> Montano. See, that's what I'm talking about. Shit is hard, these names. Actually, I'm looking longer. at Roger's thing, like, upside down and try to fucking read it right now. I mean, Sammy, Sammy, Sammy Globe. Montano. Sammy Montano. Sammy Montano. Globe part. <laughs> Pretty fucking good, huh? Pretty rad. You know what though? Everything yeah. about that a good song. video screamed workshop and none of it screamed globe to me at all. Do you know what's funny? I was like watching it. Like the song reminded me of Steve Barrett for some weird reason. And I can see that. And yeah. then um there were like parts where I'm like, damn, Sammy kind of looks a little bit like Steve Barra. Oh, really? <laughs> I thought that a couple times. Yeah. I, I mean, did have that 90s style too. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was like the, the ring con clip kind of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get it. Off. I guess, yeah, I could see that. It was definitely like it looked like it would have been in my field, like a part that would have mm-hmm. fit in or like an extra or something. It reminded me of like about. Steve Burr's old foundation part. Oh, way, way back. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a little too long. Really? My own personal, yeah. My own personal. I, you, I don't, you have a short attention span. I know. I do. I do. You no, but I, watch an Instagram I just think that, that like it was six minutes, right? <laughs> Give or take. If, Roughly, it, yeah. if it was three minutes of yeah. just the banging, banging, yeah. banging shit, mm. man, it would have just, if they took for out me. All, if they took out all the shoe shots. Well, that was the was, only thing yo. that made it a globe video. Was, yeah, 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 that was like B-roll right. shoe shots. There was too yeah. many shoes. But shots. No, nothing against it. I'm just no. saying, just take that three minutes mm-hmm. and boom, boom, boom. Right. Ender, no slide off the fucking thing. I would have been like, holy that was shit, that was gnarly. Dude, that drop is so high. Fuck yeah. And it Spot. looks like there's probably hypodermic needles and all kinds oh, yeah. of shit down there. <laughs> too, right? sure. Sure. But imagine sliding that and getting towards the end. He and knowing him. you got that fucking Yeah, night. you're just like, why this guy could stick right here? Or yeah. this can go wrong yeah, or death can go right. Yeah. Yeah. And Bias. it looked like his shirt made spot. it look like he probably ate shit a few times. Yeah. 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 This spot just looks so gross yeah, and dirty. For sure. Nose grind, nollie half cab, mm-hmm. switch crook. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. Crazy, that like one. there was amazing skate. I, yeah. For my own attention span, I just I just like to see bit the bang and bang and bang. Like yeah. it's cool. Like, oh, a couple filler tricks. Instagram is for you. Huh? Instagram is for you. Eh, not really, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, it was cool to see him, like, he had a versatile style. Mm-hmm. You know, he could skate big shit, but then he could also get tech and, like, you yeah. know, ledge dance and shit. Yeah. Was cool. It was good. All good skating. Yeah. Big Hen? I, I, I think my favorite trick in that whole part was, like, I think he did fakey pop shove it, fakey manny, fakey varial out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just, like, a manual ass dude i'm just like damn there it is manual, <laughs> manual ass dude manual ass dude and i'm he's like he's a well-rounded skater dude yeah, yeah, yeah he can do everything yeah 
You know what I should have done for this episode? I should have made a fucking Kelly laugh track. Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking blew it. You could have put it on Dude. your little board too. I, like. I blew it. I fucking blew it. Yeah, I feel less it. funny. I know. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have to fill you gotta fill in the blanks, man. You gotta laugh funny? hella hard. Yeah, yeah, oh, just yeah. laugh hard crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. That was, that was good, a good start. Was <laughs> should we go to the pharmacy and just get some weed right now and just Oh, Amazing. Oh, my some, God. Not for some, me. Some I'll, edibles? I'll freak the fuck out. <laughs> I just need, like, a shot, and I'm like, all right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's probably got some Jameson. Chill, there's Jameson you. right there. Uh-oh, big head. I'm not one to say no, you know? Hillary, hook him up. Straight from the bottle? Wow. There you go. <laughs> wow. Should I just hit it out the bottle? Pull it. I'll, hey, I'll pull your, one with you. Do your thing, oh, All right, bro. let's do it. Yeah. Do your thing. Uh-oh. It'll warm you up. That was small, right. but... He's like gargling it. Oh my god. That's my special move. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gargling alcohol gargle. Okay. Yeah. I mean that's what the strain is. <laughs> True. <laughs> but you don't swallow. Mm. Some do. Anyway. <laughs> you do a lot of that, Steve. Because <laughs> it, it's, you know, when I get here, shit doesn't process and register before it comes. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I did it again. So, <laughs> I end up catching myself and I have a real life pause moment and it, you know, it makes for good TV. There you, go. there you go. There you go. There you go. People think we don't catch it, but we do. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, anything to add about the Sammy... Uh, Montano part. Can't wait to see more of them. Fakie oh, Trey yeah. over the bench was cool. Fuck. Oh, Fakie Trey. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Who's he? Who's he skate for? Alien. Oh, it? there it is. I'm, yeah, yeah, I yeah, saw I the know. boards, but I didn't know if it was a, a, yeah. a real thing. East Coast dude. What are we looking at? No, is he like Brea? Brea or like that area? Really? Yeah. 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 He, huh. rose, he skates with um Aaron Brown, like the Small Wheels crew. That's who and, filmed uh, it. James, oh, yeah, James Craig yeah, yeah. one. Interesting. Speaking of like East Coast, but the, the Eli Reed thing. Mm -hmm. Like the black and white, awesome. It kind of made it so it looked like everything kind of blended together. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. East Coast footage, West Coast footage. Oh yeah. right, it kind of underachievers vibe. Yeah, it kind of looked all the same, yeah. which yeah. is kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. dude, that part was really fucking good. Dude, Eli yeah. Reed is so fucking sick. Mm -hmm. Switch God. Yeah, hashtag, dude. Hashtag switch God. Yeah, hashtag. Oh, you know what's funny is halfway through the video, I was like, "Oh, he's regular," and then I know right? a little bit later, I was like, "Wait, no, 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 he's goofy." Yeah, yeah. it's so confusing. It's the two people that I've always like gone back and forth in my head and had to think were him and Zared. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a switch just, push. Yeah, the switch. He Eli Reed's switch push it's is good. like no other. It's good. Oh my god. You know what I was thinking watching that? I know he's he's he he has Becky. He's like his board brand, whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I'm watching it, I was like, he would be perfect on fucking Mark Johnson's board um, oh, business company. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, the two of them yeah. would nerd out and that's very, do some yeah. rad shit together, I feel Look like. Look at that. That's, what, that's what's the problem with skateboarding right now. Everyone's trying Everybody to do their own, their own shit. shit. Yeah. Go fuck up, yeah. dude. Yeah. Combine some shit and make some shit happen. I feel like it's going that way, though. I don't know. Going in a weird way? way, I just feel like everybody's out for themselves now almost. You yeah, have to be. That's you know? fucking you happening. Do, yeah, you kind of have to take matters into your own hands, it yeah. feels like. No. But I mean, even like on the money side of it, like YouTube, this and that, like mm -hmm. I, th I feel like skaters nowadays have to go down their own yeah, exactly. route. Mm -hmm. yep. Especially with like Instagram now, you know, it's like, yeah. I feel like it makes it a lot easier for skaters to go like mm -hmm. their own route because it's like. Totally. Oh, absolutely. Well, you think about back in the day when you're only access to the public eye was through like 411 or a team's yeah. video and now you have direct access not only to your fans but to like build a bigger fan base through you know social media so right. i see why people get the hunger and they're like well these people are already paying attention to me why don't i start my own shit mm -hmm. and you know it goes well for some and some others you know not as much some but, can't gain yeah. any traction right yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you it's gotta like, take that gamble it's a fucking help or hurt situation you know what i mean it's yeah, yeah. Crazy. I'm glad I grew up in the time I did, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. You know what, though? It's, you're, honestly, taking, you're taking like, matters in your own hand at the same time, though. Well, now, yeah, because I you go you go with the you either go with the flow or you fucking let get left behind. Get with it and get yeah. lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. for sure. I think the time that you guys came up in was really a golden era because the accessibility wasn't so like 
it wasn't there wasn't so much accessibility to your favorite people or to your favorite pros. So when you got that chance to like meet them at a demo or oh, yeah. see them in a magazine, right. it meant so much <laughs> oh, more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As opposed to like you know I can fucking pull out my phone and see them on Instagram you can live. DM them, and, and yeah, them and they're gonna shit. answer. You know like, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like it's that disconnect is it, it, it it's. A catch twenty two because it's good in a way of like you have accessibility to the people that really fuck with you and like want to buy your products and shit. But mm-hmm. then at the same time, it's like there's no privacy. There's no there's like no, totally. there's no yeah. glimmer anymore right. when people see you. You know, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I feel like Instagram right now is a catch twenty two in general. Yeah, oh, you know, so yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like either you can fucking make something out of yourself or you just get shit on. Absolutely. You yeah. know? <laughs> yep. And it's like you don't get the chance to make mistakes anymore. You know no, what I mean? Like right. you can fuck up and like do some shit and sweep it under the rug when there wasn't so much access. But now it's like everything, your fucking wins and your losses are out there. Like right. You got to hold those L's and you got to take those W's too. Like it's just, it's weird, man. You know what? This is, for, this is a great um, thing because uh, our channel memberships, Mm-hmm. You know, the people can pay four ninety nine a month, join yeah. our channel, get twenty yeah. percent. How's that going? It's going good. It's going good. Yeah. It's good. going good. But good. so I posed a question to everybody, just uh, if anybody had any topics or questions they wanted to ask us, you know, um, mm. on YouTube. And actually, a couple of the questions were, "Your what are you guys' thoughts?" Actually, two people had the same thing. Uh, Who were they? They uh, uh, Apol 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 Neo Z Apolono Z. And L <laughs> Elman Tree Three both said like, "What do you guys think about the YouTube skaters? Chris Chan, Andy Schrock, uh, yeah, John Chan Hill." Rips. I fuck with Chris Chan. He so got like a shit ton of followers, yeah. right? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. No, he's he, got, I've seen that. John Hill's like, good too. John Hill John too. Hill, yeah. Like Chris Chan is is dope because he got shunned by like the industry and like the core dudes and all that shit and just took matters into his own hands and his YouTube following and his presence and all that is fucking it's incredible but he fucking rips, rips. Yeah. oh yeah he did, did like, the across the LA River shit. yeah he put a, he made a flat bar and put yeah. that shit across the, that shit was uh, fucking crazy if, if he never did the YouTube <laughs> thing he could have easily gone he would have the, the normal route no, he, sure. I think he but he, he wouldn't have, have he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have been a cream of the crop though yeah but he, no it's weird, but I almost compare him with like a Brian Peacock. You know, it's like they got those crazy tricks; they're super good. Mm-hmm. But I, I think about. the difference is, is like joking. Peacock is like joking. getting stuff in the streets in China, mm-hmm. where Chris is like skating a skate park, and that's the downfall is like trying to like come up in the skate park scene. I'm right? just I saying, Chris Chan is so fucking good that he, with or without YouTube, he, without YouTube, he could have gone the normal. Route. Oh, totally. As it would, it sees I, everybody. It I see water. it exactly, and yeah. I see it being a know. situation of him know. like he may get with a company that rocks with him, but they're not gonna have him be like their main focus. But that's or fine he could, though. Or he could end up in a situation like T.J. Rogers, who fucking rips, is the nicest dude you'll ever meet, mm-hmm. and people aren't fucking with him. Yeah. And I don't yeah. mean people, but like brands and shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it, should we talk about T.J.'s rising dude, part? That part. Dude. Part was really fucking good. The only thing I had, only problem I had with it was like. All those like um, Orange County spots or whatever, mm-hmm. so boring to watch. Oh. Like, we're just, like there's like nothing happening hmm. around there. You know, like Orange County what footage is just boring. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like skating like pretty good like benches. Rogers back <laughs> <laughs> in a basketball court or whatever, and it's like they look like there's nothing going on. There's no one near yeah. him. Like yeah, but that know. like but the simplicity of that mixed with his like technicality like that. Oh, dude, I fucking love it, board. man. Did he stay chasing in Orange County like footage in general? Boring. I Wait, thought. Raj, what happened to you in Orange County? Like <laughs> <laughs> who hurt you? Did something happened. Raj, <laughs> all the clips there are pretty boring looking. You mean like the the aesthetic of them? Yeah, totally. The way it looks. Yeah. On this film. is a videographer's mind, though. I can yeah, see yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I can see you. There's, he no, there's, fucking, there's no city life. Like, that dude came But really? it's Orange County, though. Know, what is yeah. <laughs> what that? He came out with a barracks thing, right? Mm-hmm. What was it? A recruit it a, or was um, it a battle, battle commander? commander? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Comes out with this part. I mean, the guy, what, whatever he's eating for breakfast, I want some of that. Yeah. I want some without. He's eating his Wheaties. Maybe I'll see Bull. <sighs> I'll say, I'll take it. Whatever. Nah, it he's is, eating dude. some fucking, what is he? Can't, uh, some shit with some maple syrup. <laughs> pancakes <laughs> pancakes and some <laughs> Canadian some, some bacon poutine. some poutine <laughs> pancakes all that waffles. shit no, my mouth is watering now it's funny how we were talking about our our generation yeah it's like he, it made me he made me think about our generation where like he's so fucking good mm-hmm. like you said 
like companies aren't fucking with him really or like whatever he's going through like whatever that shit he's putting out footage cool like that's amazing but well, I like think he's just having problems with the the shoes but stuff, I th- right I mean, skis for blind. Yeah, he's got a he's, pro he's board. Totally hooked up. But, yeah, he's hooked up. My my point is, is like he would have in our generation, like someone like that would have been like just like exactly. celebrated, yeah, exactly. and like he's sure. just like run, run of the mill, like you know what I mean, like which is so fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's almost like a? It it, it almost seems like a Kevin Romar thing too, where he mm. like was super good and just like. Just I think Kevin time. Romar's like his. In the beginning, not necessarily now, but in the beginning, he was shadowing fucking um, Jacob Walder mm-hmm. and Terry Kenny and like the whole ice cream mm-hmm. situation yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. I think he was put almost on the back burner yeah. to where he didn't really get a chance to shine. And then the Barry yeah, video atmosphere true. came out and people saw like, oh, this dude really fucking rips. And mm-hmm. then like started doing shit with Blind. I think that was like he saw his lane and his opportunity and took it. Whereas I don't feel like TJ is getting the opportunity that he deserves. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that he's but got it, the skill and the, you know, the... The I think if TJ is doing what he's doing now in like Toronto or a city mm-hmm. area, mm-hmm. he'd be crushing it. Yeah. Like if he did that sh- all this shit in fucking like SF or fucking like in Philadelphia. What do you mean? Just York, change the scenery? Just, yeah. I think he would shine. It's weird to think about. I think about. Orange County Crazy. is just, it's weird to the, think uh, about. Portage in Orange County is just boring looking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I it's interesting. I never uh, thought, yeah, it's I never, an interesting yeah. angle there. Yeah, I never yeah. thought about it like that. It's I think so it's the shoe thing, right? He's like, I mean, yeah, wasn't the, he? Was, he was wearing Adidas, and now he's he's. He on was some, like on Nike Canada. Then like mm. I think he's like buying. He shoes. was buying Adidas. Buying yeah. I think, now, I think Kelly Kelly's sent him shoes. Now. shoes. Oh, that's wild. But he was like <laughs> repping, hard, like buying like a lot of shoes, buying the gear, like really trying to fucking rep to like show you know prove his worth and prove the the value but crazy that you can't team just is pretty stacked already i don't know yeah, I, uh, for sure 100%. like it's hard to fucking get on any brand yeah. absolutely yeah. which brings up buying shit like what's up like damn there's a lot of red bull in this shit what's going on how do they do they just break these fools off or something i guess so he's wearing a red bull hat the entire time yeah, he's think, probably getting paid bang. yeah he's, oh, right he's, is, yeah. is that that's why my question is oh, like for sure yeah i think he's red bull canada but even still yeah I, like when you're they, they're taking care of him so well okay yeah. well that's good yeah. I'm just like tripping. Yeah. Cause Red Bull, <clears throat> that's the thing. Like, if somebody's wearing the Red Bull hat, they're getting you broke off. You better like, be fucking no, yeah. getting yeah. broken yeah. off. Right. Yeah. Nobody's wearing wear that for free. Red Bull fucking. hat. And I think it's a part of the contract, too. Like, you have yeah. to wear oh, yeah. the hat. Like, so. You want Red Bull? No, no. I just like this hat. Man. <laughs> fucking great. Like, I don't even think you can get them if you're not. You, you, a, can't, you can't buy those hats. Right. Yeah. 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 Mm. At all. Yeah. I'll have a hat here next fucking week, Raj, if you want. <laughs> I will wear a Red Bull hat. Yeah. Yes. Give me. Amazing. And, and, yeah. My yeah. bank account needs that rebel hat. There you go. Big facts. <laughs> all, all of ours do. Hey, so yo, speaking of Kevin so. Romar, I don't remember. Fuck. Oh, I don't remember a lot of shit, but. You go back and watch some of the No, no I didn't go back and watch shit. I just saw the Nolly Hill flip oh down the fucking God. thing. The, uh, above angle? The Wilshire, Wilshire 15. Wilshire 15. He caught it at like the fourth stair. Mm-hmm. And Bro, just like floated. But it looked that like was, he was doing it down a three stair. Yeah. 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 Like, that blew my fucking mind. Dude, dude. you go back and what? Like after Kevin was on the show, I went back and watched some of his stuff. Yeah. I was like, dude, that. That dude's incredible. He just floats yeah. in the it's air. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Nolly back heel down fucking the triple set at the it's beach. It's like someone tied his yeah. arms together. Like. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of it's reminiscent of Antoine. I yeah. was yeah. going to yeah. say that. Yeah. Dude, totally. Yeah. Anyway, YouTube skaters, going back to the, uh, the questions posed to us. Oh, yeah. Fuck. You know, I, 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 I like it. I've always said that I think every skateboarder needs a YouTube channel. I think Absolutely. every scoop, every skater needs a YouTube channel. You don't have to vlog. You don't have to do, just do what you want to do. Just you want to do your own media. Yeah. If you, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You want to put footage on there. You would, I mean, I've learned so much by doing the show about YouTube yeah. that I wish I knew four or five years ago. The crazy thing about it too is like you learn so much from YouTube in general. Like yeah. if you want to know how to fucking it's a fucking tie a shit. encyclopedia. Could, Absolutely. Yeah, like, uh, you want to know how to fucking change a fucking pipe under your sink. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go to YouTube. Like, right. just, so think about the way that I, I one of my first VHS, tap, VHS tapes was Trick Tips with Jeremy Ray from Amazing. Four, Trans World of 401 or something like that. Starting point. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Which fucked me up because he does not skate like the regular skateboarder anyway. But that's <laughs> <the thing. laughs> like, His kick flips are like in heel flip position. I'm like, yeah. this doesn't Every trick right. yeah. looks exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the fact that like now kids have access to YouTube and they oh, can yeah. pull it up on their phone while they're at a spot and like 
just go watch their favorite person, their favorite pro do the trick and try and mimic it. You know, oh, shit like that. that. Just Kevin Romar that. fucking like, printed out shit. Yeah, he too. printed out a trip trick tip. Ollie. straight up. Yeah. yeah, like shit like that is crazy. Like I would, you would have to go inside, watch the tape, then go back outside and try and do the shit again. Like fuck, mm-hmm. I forgot. And go like it's just. Right. I just think like it's. That, I just think YouTube's a great platform, man. Fuck yeah. And you know what? If if you if you're if you're you know growing your YouTube channel and you're monetizing it, you know it's a few extra bucks a month. That's you true know, too. it's yeah. like you're giving it all away for free on Instagram. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Put you it may, on YouTube. You, yeah. you 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 put something on Instagram that gets fifty thousand views. Guess what? You could have made like two two hundred bucks. Yeah. Off of that. It's so interesting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like no, you're, you're spitting game right now, like for real. Yeah. No, it, yeah. it's it's yeah. it's like I said. I wish I knew right. about this. You know, four or five years. All these dudes that are on YouTube that are making these this. Fucking that have a huge following. Caked they're up. killing it. They're killing it. Caked yeah. up. They're killing it. You may not like to watch it. Yeah. But, but somebody so what? does. Exactly. That's yeah. the thing. That's the, the the beautiful thing about YouTube is that there are so many different demographics of people that will want to see what you're doing. It may not be for everybody or the people you want it to be for, but if you continue to like focus on what you're good at and what works for you, mm-hmm. the people are gonna show up and they're gonna pay attention to you and they're eventually gonna start rocking with you. And exactly. that's like right. yeah. that's just gonna grow from there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. totally. And it ain't it, it's not an easy platform to work with either. You right. really gotta put in your time, you really gotta put in your work, mm-hmm. you really gotta stay with with it it's it's a it's a job you know For and sure. i respect anybody that does that shit you know i think shit it's is better awesome. than a fucking nine to five all right you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you know go go out and get yours man yeah. you i know? mean for me that wasn't until the premiere shit dude that shit f- mm. blew my fucking mind, oh yeah dude. that yeah. shit is crazy it shout helps you ramon. understand shout out to ramon he's probably already dropped <laughs> Yo, like two ramon, bucks <laughs> we, everybody in the chat was good he may, he may even win another prize later yeah he probably ramon. will <laughs> but um another question we got from Trey Hill, uh, one of my favorite sequences of all time is Justin's Nolly Heel nose grind on Belmont. Remember that, Eldridge? I don't. Yeah. I actually, I blacked out. Did you black happened. out? Yeah, I okay. fucking blacked out. Um, how many? I'm not even joking. I literally blacked out. Yeah. How many had he done prior to trying it on that rail? Probably uh, one and no, one think, and done. Do you think he still has one in him on anything? <laughs> That's a question. Well, the first one, I, I went there I two days in a row. It's funny because I don't fucking... Nine stair, right? <clears throat> Nine stair. I could never even think about trying something down something two days in a row now. Never. Yeah, no. shit. Ever. Or skate jumping <laughs> down. Like, yeah. Never. And that, that, that uh, you know, you get old and shit <laughs> happens. But, uh, but yeah. you were doing them a lot on different shit. I, literally, the only thing Every... I ever done that trick on was a flat bar at Santa Clarita Park. <laughs> flat bar. That oh yeah, it. yeah, that was it. You used to be good, Eldridge. Thanks, Robert. That was a no hell problem. of a that was a hell of a trick, like, Dude, for yeah. real. You? And Belmont people, for people that have never gone there, that roll away was just chunky as fuck. Yeah. From like, yeah. I feel like it was from people's axles hitting shit trying to skate the stairs, but like, yeah. that was a. I'm telling you that that one. rail was the exact rail flat bar at Santa Cruz Park. You ever? Fuck with Santa Cruz Park. Ever? The new, like the newer, newer first one. one. Oh, oh no, yeah. I meant to. I meant that one. It's yeah. a smaller rail. The smaller it's rail, small, small round rail, like it's to, it was literally the same fucking thing as what I skated right. as a kid. Damn, so. that's amazing. Yeah. How many nolly? This is my own question. <clears throat> How many nolly flip or nolly heel nose slides did you do to crook by accident? Five. Fuck bunch. Of those yeah. <laughs> yeah, bunch I of wish them. I did shit by accident, bro. It's I'd take know. anything I can get. I've got like a sick. Eldridge story. Oh yeah, Let's yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember. All right, so growing up, Carson has always been my like favorite skater, right? Mm-hmm. And then Nolly Hill no slide. You know, he would like do that, and that was like my favorite trick. Now I remember going in the Val Surf when you were there, and I was just like, and then you were doing that trick, and I was like, oh shit. <sighs> He's like Carson. I mean, with just that one trick, and I was just yeah, like, yeah. damn. Like, wait a minute, no, 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 Val you Surf. Mean, you mean what like, was it? Go ahead. What I was gonna say, like I'm like demo? exactly like Carson. Like oh, <laughs> the, whole, the whole shit is what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, the whole you know, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Not just one trick. Man. But do you mean you saw him in videos doing it, or he was doing it at like no, a demo well, like, there? Or well, he worked at Val. Like oh, he worked way mm, back in the day. Okay. You know, oh, you the, came in as a little kid. Yeah, I was like a was little he cool ass kid. You? Yeah, yeah. Actually, cool? he was always cool. Yeah. And I was, I was like, damn. It's like, important in a skate shop. Trick. For sure, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. There you go. And then like me becoming like a skate shop dude after that, I was like, damn, that's super important. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, so many kids like, 
idolized gay shot people and it's like but why but i'm like but i get yeah, it yeah dude sure. joey what well, didn't joey was were you there when yeah around joey's time yeah, joey yeah. 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 oh yeah, joey abarca yeah. yeah. shout out to joey abarca dude great dude. Dude. Guy. one of my favorites Amazing. um this is another question that i found interesting by uh, hunter bath have you ever have you guys ever th- uh thought about walking away from skating 28 from the he said he's 28 from the east coast of canada and currently waiting on acl surgery number two. Oh, i wow. love skating having stopped since i was 10 and can't let the injury win but is it my time to lay down the old girl when do you say i'm done i can't imagine shutting off the skate mindset you never turn skate you never off. you're uh, yeah, it's, yeah it's for life you yeah. may not be able to perform at the highest level or the level that you wish you yeah. could but you're gonna be a skateboarder forever like, oh yeah you know, absolutely you're still gonna be in, in, in at least a part of it in a way of like consuming content or paying mm-hmm. attention to what's going on shit yeah. like that like it's it, it's never going away i mean yeah. besides this the, by, besides the acl thing i've never had that but i mean there's been times where you, you get burned on it you know sure, sure. you get burned on it you're i mean for me traveling doing a, it sounds like a fucking dream job it is but you get sometimes you get burnt. You just want to chill, yeah. man. Take, well, take a couple years off, yeah. you know. And it's the constant deadlines that I think fuck with people. Yeah, that too. It's, you know? it's yeah. tough, but but at the, t- at the same time, like you go to you know go to dinner with your family, and you see a fucking handicap rail. You're still gonna think about oh, right, yeah. you know, sure. like that. Yeah, that just never goes the away. Thought process will always be. But there. I mean, yeah. skating. I understand two ACL surgeries. It's yeah, it's a whole wild. thing. He'll bounce back. Know? Yeah, he will. Yeah. And he'll know. You, you know, I think Hunter. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Look him in the eye. I'm looking at him in the eye, Raj. You know, <laughs> you'll you'll know when it's time to put it down. You know what I'm saying? You'll know. Okay. There is no. You time. don't need us to tell you when to put it down, bro. I, One I, more. I, I like okay. these community questions. You like the community I questions? Just, yeah. It's cool, yeah. man. One more. Um, and I think I I know what everybody's gonna say to this one, but uh, Salty Hooligan asks: Real wood or carbon fiber skateboards? Rubber grip tape or original grip tape? Rubber grip tape? What's better? What's better technology advances with skating, or keep it in the same? What the fuck is rubber grip tape? <laughs> I know. I, I, I don't, not, they, they I've make never like, even heard of like it. It's like Astro. Um, AstroTurf. No, um, <laughs> Astro Deck. You know, like the Fletcher um, brand. No, they make it for surfboards. Whatever. It's, it's just basically like rubber that material. That can't be good. Are they like little? Is it? It's the same? good for a rainboard. That would make sense. That yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. We're skating in the rain all the but time. Dude, we should every, get some of that. Everybody tries to fucking come up with something new dude, and carbon fiber bro. this and I'm this sorry, and that, but the dwindle impact shit is good as fuck. Okay, and the, the, and the flight boards. But that's what Paul is doing. Yeah, people love those fucking things. But just admit, like, look how long that took, though. Yeah, I know. But everybody because, tried because to do skateboarding something. Always, I think, they're afraid of something new. But see, that's the thing. It's it's, it's almost like. Like, I remember back in the day, because I've always been a taller dude, just even when I was younger, and you go through boards a lot when you're when you're young and you're trying to, like, skate big shit because everybody else is, but you're not necessarily designed for it. Yeah. So I remember, um, I think it was Real was making, like, nine-ply boards for a while. I was getting those. And it was probably heavy as fuck. Heavy as fuck. Yeah. Lib Tech was making fucking... Those hockey stick-looking things. The boards with... Um, I don't want to, fiberglass mm-hmm. in the middle ply shit like that. You Those fucking like for a while though. It lasts for a while, yeah. but you chip it and you fucking like slice your leg open. It's yeah. just a, a lot of shit that like seven plies of hardwood maple, mm-hmm. good to go. Mm-hmm. Like, but it's like the uh, like the dwindle, dwindle impact stuff, whatever. Mm-hmm. All it is is a carbon fiber in the center, like the impact light ones, whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's still wood on the outside, but the board actually holds its like. But does it keep shape after? Keep the shape, but it's still poppy for but see, that's, like months. That's a good thing though, integrating it into the yeah. wood. There's mm. other people that have tried to try carbon fiber oh, yeah, boards, totally. yeah, metal yeah, yeah, board, yeah, like yeah. whatever it may Dude, be. Um, I think Santa Cruz came out with this board <clears throat> called uh, New Wood back mm. in the day. It was um, this weird composite, whatever. It, it lasted a long time, but it was super flexy. But like I had set one up as a rain board. Mm. So much fun to skate. <laughs> you know what? I've never tried a bamboo skateboard, but I'd really like to see bamboo Habitat's make a used. move and really People interesting. Do Habitat does them. Do they? Oh yeah. I'd like to see that kind of take I feel take like hold and go because bamboo's strong. I mean, as fuck. it's strong yeah, as fuck strong. and it grows quickly but and it doesn't destroy trees. I wonder why they do they don't do that. Well, that's but what I'm saying. Flexed, I don't know. Like yeah. it's kind of, it's like pliable though. I right? hope yeah. that I hope they figure it out cuz yeah. I'd like to see bamboo bo- boards flourish, they make, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just need to like 
Slam. Yeah, stop yeah. cutting these trees down, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there is something, though, to this subject about inventing mm-hmm. or, like, bringing to skateboarding, like, some sh- new shit. Being innovative. You know, being innovative. Yeah. Kenny Anderson. Oh, God. Oh, his pop-on wheels? Oh, wait. This he, mother he talk fucker. about this stuff, though. Why not? He, he put it on Instagram. He put it on Instagram. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. He made a wheel, and I, I was with him through a cup like a long time of this like he's been doing this for a while and it's just now coming to fruition i think it's going to be out soon mm-hmm. but he made an amazing pop off wheel like it's like pop on pop off pop off pop, pop yeah, yeah pop on pop off <laughs> cruiser wheel that okay. you pop on your fucking normal wheel yeah uh-huh. just wrap and around. you pop the shit off so if you like skate to the spot Put those things on. When you get to the spot, take them off, and you're skating. It's pretty sick. It's a work, fucking though? amazing. I think he stole that idea from me. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people had that idea. I don't know. Well, he he it, but he fucking yeah. made it happen. So it, they still fit in the wheel wells of your current board? You just go on the well, It's not only him, though. I think Brian Brown was oh. involved. Yeah, there's a few and, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't yeah. just... Yeah. Brian Brown, the dude that used to write for audio? Yeah, yeah, yeah Brian Brown. Shit. Yeah. Him and there's another dude, Turtle. too. I'm trying to picture it. I'm just like, That's I what I'm thinking, too. Like, yeah, I can't. No, it's just, just, just like, a, 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 like a, a hollow wheel. Yeah. And you just can clip it onto your existing wheel. So it doesn't add too much more shape to the wheel or anything crazy? Like Imagine just a big old cruiser wheel that's just uh-huh. hollowed out. Yeah. And then uh, you could actually just oh, pop it okay, over okay, your okay. wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand. Yeah. I get it. It's so like it a little starts, ridge that basically holds the wheel right. in place. Yeah. 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 So you start off with... Yeah. Hard wheels, and then you just pop on this. It's like just only cruiser wheels. It's like a just condom for your wheels. Right. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. 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 I was confused. Skin dog. Like, wait, wheels. Skin dog. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But a fucking genius. Like, why didn't anybody think about that shit? Well, it's like it's like Raj said. I'm sure a lot of people thought about it, but right. it's just about doing it. I think it's the, yeah. the, the main problem is it. just uh, sizes. Remember Express right. Your Shelf? Mm-hmm. What happened to that? That was that's, an idea that's still that you, in the works. Is it? Yeah. I just want to do a shelf company called Express Your Shelf. <laughs> you better go trademark it by fucking Thursday. I, I love it. I you you love bring it. that up like ah, Christmas parties it. on. T- Remember special shelf, express your shelf. <laughs> <laughs> that shit would be sick though. Still, what right? about your hanging plant idea? Oh my hanging God. plant. Yeah, you had some type of hanging plant. No, I had a floating plant. I bought from exist. somebody. Yeah, no, dude, no, no, no. Yeah. Back in the day, you wanted to hang plants upside no, down. Or no, 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 no. I wanted to do furniture with plants inside of them. <laughs> No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That shit is real. That's okay, real life. Okay. You imagine if we just had, like, this was a table, and there was, like, a square, and there was a plant. Plant coming in. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Why? What do you need to use <laughs> because the middle I love, of the Because there's oxygen and shit. You, he just loves plants I, and shit. I, 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 I love, love plants wrong with and shit. But what if you need the middle of the table or something? You can't remove it. Did we ever use this part of the fucking table ever? What if we were eating dinner, and we had a little fucking platter? It could just be a hole that just and cover up put a yeah. pot in there no he wants it to be integrated into the table into the table <laughs> what happens into if the, the plant dies? i kind of feel like i've seen no, that at like restaurants and stuff water the plant that shit don't die get a cactus <laughs> yeah, but sometimes sometimes these plants need sun you know mm. T- table yeah, sun. Table. <laughs> <laughs> some plants do need sun yeah some plants don't right what happened to all these ideas eldridge they're there Every you don't know you don't even uh, know the years okay. hanging out with this go, dude. Let's start a new GoFundMe. Oh God, here we go. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Are we but... trying to get you to Hawaii or China? What are we doing? <laughs> it all went to fucking for a new business. Express your shelf. It all went to Ruth's Chris. That's where that fucking all this China shit went to. Let me tell you something. Man. Let, me, let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something. I think we need to move on. We need to uh, listen, bro. You know what's funny? What's funny, Chris? Let me tell you something, Steezus. Tell him something, Chris. Tell me something good. I think it's funny because we've been talking about uh, pros getting other colorways on other pros' shoes. Mm-hmm. Which we've I been, think is still weird. We've Still weird. Still weird. weird. But we've also been talking about um, videos not explaining themselves well enough, mm-hmm. you know? And then Adidas comes out with this video with Rodrigo and Dennis Butnitz, mm-hmm. and they explained why mm-hmm. Rodrigo has a colorway with Dennis's shoe. And I was like, that's amazing. And I and fucking it makes sense. That's, it. And it makes yeah. sense. Rodrigo, that's the only shoe he skates. And Dennis even said it himself. 
I feel like he wears my shoe more than I wear my own. Exactly. And I associate Rodrigo with the boostness. With the, 100%. Right. For and sure. you come out with yeah. a pro Rodrigo shoe, yeah, that's amazing, but mm. you're kind of faking the funk, right? Like, Unless he comes out with a pretty proper design. Well, which that, he deserves. A hundred percent. Agreed. But you, it looks like a Rodrigo psyched on it. Dennis is psyched. Yeah, like it's yeah, a whole, yeah. but yeah. it's just rad they explained the whole thing. Yeah. Totally. You know? I love the story. That, that's what makes it like, Okay, this is rad. I yeah. understand why this is happening now. Exactly. It makes so much sense. And it's from the guy whose shoe it is who's yeah. like, yo, this dude, he reps this shit harder than I do. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Exactly. Totally. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I love it. No. And well, it's not like Paul Hart getting a fucking Apple Yard call away, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> right. I've never seen him right. skate that shoe before. But even, yeah. but even like, <laughs> um, happened. you know, uh, Shane. Um, Shane O'Neill and the got Janelle. the, the Janelle, but they didn't explain anything, yeah. you know. And I thought it was a super rad that they did a little piece on why mm -hmm. this yeah. is yeah. happening. You Which know? yeah, Shane does only skate the Janowski, and it's a, it's a similar it. thing. Yeah. We get it, but it was Adidas. Never... I gotta say, man, they fucking they do what's necessary to like get the explain information yeah. out yeah. there yeah. and yeah. do it in a proper way and like build up stories properly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. The yeah. great story. And that's why I loved and I loved Rodrigo's backside flip in that. I was about to thing. say, yeah. Oh, yes. oh my God. That's the debate. Like, is it the best ever? Because Boozin has said he heard that it was. In mine? No, it is. It's, it's up there. the best yeah. ever. I'm going to go ahead and say it is. Let's, take a, I can't, let's take a vote. I can't, Are we voting? Well, can we think of another one that was equal or greater? I mean, I just saw Costin backside flipping over. I was a table, gonna say, and I'm like, Costin, dude, that yeah. fucking no, 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 great. fuck that shit. That was the best one. Yeah, no, the best one. There's a lot of good ones out there. There's that a lot of that good was ones. the best one. Leave What's your favorites in the vote? comments? What's that? There you go. I was seeing his vote. Are we doing a vote or are we just go ahead? Go you, straight to the comments. We're starting off. Big hand dog. Best ever. Best ever. Jesus Christ. I think so too. I can't think of a better. Like, I can't, I can't think, think of a better. I can't think of a fucking better one. Okay, it's done. Unanimous yeah, decision. I mean, come best on, backside dude, flip. That was ever the done. best backside flip. I need ever. a gavel, Raj. <laughs> yeah. It's so noisy. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, dude. I love Rodrigo. Favorite part? I, I mean, Menek Mahdi. I used to watch his part over and over, and I put him on my rush yeah, board. That was cool. Did you? But yeah. he had two parts and can't stop the firm. Oh, Dude, I'm one of my favorite songs. We we went yeah. through this. We did. Can you sing it? <laughs> Do you want me to do it again? Yeah, do it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Rodrigo. <laughs> 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 Rodrigo wow. has been fucking like He's the been. fact that he has had such a long career and like bro came on the scene not even being able to speak English mm -hmm. and just like came out the gate swinging oh and now and stayed here. And, and stayed, stayed. and yeah. stayed one of the coolest parts Basketball. was him just hearing him say his last name oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I was like wait that's how you say it <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right like, yeah. dude that should have been done a long time ago yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. but leave it to fucking Americans to yeah. shorten that shit we can't say that shit we're just gonna name you TX <laughs> I right. say, yeah. but I think that was the best yeah. thing that's happened to him though is having that little nickname too TX Yep. You know, you know Wade, TX. Wade Disarmo's name isn't spelled the way we spell it. Right. No. It's like, we, why do De we? De Disarmo Roche or something. <laughs> Some weird shit like that, right? Isn't it? Something crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Steezus. <laughs> Henry. <laughs> Wait, speaking of him, it's also important to note that most of his parts he skated to Prodigy. Oh. And I really love that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mob Deep or Prodigy. Yeah, like, yeah Mob Deep. Hey, little mm -hmm. known fact, that's how he, he learned, learned how to speak English. English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And Felipe, while we're talking about Felipe learned how to speak, speak English by listening to Biggie. Yeah. And that's a lot of influence on his, like, you know, his graphics and all that exactly. shit. Oh, for sure. too. Yeah, yeah. The music, baby. Dude, I right. love that shit, man. I couldn't imagine coming to America and not being able to speak English and listening to music yeah. and having that, like, translate. It's crazy. Right. That's fucking incredible, man. For sure. Like, fuck that. Well, I've, you know, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. I want someone to be like, yeah, I used to watch a lot of Bob Ross. Like, <laughs> Bob Ross. <laughs> Hey, we had this conversation. Happy accidents. <laughs> we had this conversation <laughs> about fucking Schoolhouse Rock and shit. Yeah. I'm just saying. You learn, bro, music is a fucking tool if to learn. If fucking like Future put out a fucking album talking about some math, I would fucking probably know math better. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. I love how... Go, never mind. I'm just. You love how never I get mind. into it. Yes, yeah. I am because yeah. I have certain things I feel very strongly about, 
and this is one of them. Yo, Schoolhouse, I, I get it. I get it. If our favorite artists today were fucking like rapping about some shit, like some legislature shit, I would, and remember all that it. Shit, yeah. I would fucking yeah. know. Yeah. But how do you do your taxes or something like that? No. No. That's what I'm saying. Straight up. Yo. For real. Imagine De La Yo. Soul rapping about taxes. Dude. <laughs> Drive Call Quest. We would probably know a lot more about it. For you fully. know. I'm just saying. I know all about Gangstar Steez. <laughs> yeah. I don't know shit about doing my own taxes. Damn it. <laughs> By the way, did you hear about the De La Soul thing with the Tommy Boy Records trying to release their albums and not pay them? Like, yeah. give them like 10%? I didn't hear that. And Tidal said no. It's fucked up, right? Whoa. Yeah. yeah. But then Tidal, like, denied it. Like, Title's like, okay, we're not streaming any of it because if you won't pay them like the right then amount, then yeah. we're not gonna do it. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I actually didn't know that. That's I don't sick. know the I don't know the behind the scenes of the Tommy Boy records and all that stuff, but, but I, I guess they own they the own, they probably to, own the masters. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. But why is it he, like thirty years since the last since the <laughs> something like that. album came out? I would yeah, it has to be. Yeah. yeah. It's two thousand nineteen, so yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be. Man. Imagine Christ. being an artist and dedicating your life to this, putting out albums, For everybody real. loves them, and then you they they're, they're they're gonna, just going to screw you. Here's 10%. Right. Yep. Yeah, here's 10%. Just Thanks. because of like the new technology and the digital age, like, right. you don't get any piece of this. It's like there's three of them. They're going to spend, now Ooh. they got to, three, guys, three dudes got to split 10%. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. It sucks, man. It's fucking well, stupid. Take matters in your own hands. I mean, it's kind of crazy. That's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. I always said like, on some skate shit, like, Own your we, shit. We, but we are like, just the, the minuscule, like you see a little bit of like mm -hmm. what big time people go through. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Like oh, we're yeah. we're not making millions of dollars, but we it's see the same thing. It's the yeah. same Smaller thing scale. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Dude, the record industry and like skateboarding are really similar. It's crazy. I'm in it right now, and it's fucking bizarre how yeah. identical it is. It's but crazy. I, like you said, it's different in extremes though. Like right. It's, we it's can't really, but you can't, it, that's where you like catch 22. It's like, mm. you can't be starting your own board company because there's really no fucking money in it. Right. But a record label, like fuck a record label, do it your own way and you're going to make a bunch of money. Bro, yeah. just to, not to get too too off topic, but like look at people like Nipsey Hussle, mm. who sold. Who is mush. That's the <laughs> shit. <laughs> he sold his mixtape for what, a hundred, was it a I shot with that hundred? dude and he was like fucking two hours, two, like we were like. Late. Oh, it bro. was so late that's for like a five minute thing. That's n that's nothing. That's bro. nothing. I'll, I'll tell you some stories. What were you saying about though, Steve? Six, about? seven hours late. But he sold his mixtape. I want to say it was for. I don't know if it was a hundred or a thousand dollars. But he or a hundred or a thousand. He made a thousand copies and he sold them for a hundred bucks a pop. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Okay, oh. so yeah, and people bought it. Yeah, and, but it, he was in the. Uh, it it might have been more. Than it might have been more. I'm not a hundred because Jay Z it was like two of them. Yeah, it was the first time he did a hundred for a hundred dollars mm -hmm. then the second time i think he did like a thousand dollars for like 10 of them 10 of them that's what yeah, it was yeah, yeah. and he or but the like way that. that he was doing it was innovative because it wasn't just the album it was like a whole experience it was like a meet and greet you're gonna hang out with me we're gonna give you merch you're gonna come to my yeah. store like it was a super right. interactive like okay. integrated thing but people looked at him like he was crazy when he first did it mm. but it's like bro this is this is how you take matters into your yeah. own hands. Yeah. This is how you be a businessman. This yeah. is how you give people an experience and right. you do something that's meaningful and not just like, here's my my art. Take right. this, pay for it. Like, right. no, you have to really find a new way to do it without a record label or without people yeah. that are having oh, totally. their piece of the pie and taking it out to where you put your blood, sweat, and tears into this and all you get is 10% of the profit. Right. Like, fuck that. Yeah. I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. <laughs> I feel like skateboarding can get there though too. Like, oh, totally. Going back to Chris Chan, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just like you know, if he already has his base, and like if he's that popular, like he can make his own T-shirts or. Oh, that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. He's got his brand, yeah. Social Anxiety, that's like crushing it. Yeah. Like he yeah. does that. That's that's exactly what I'm saying, man. That's the blueprint for for the youth today. They don't. They didn't come up in our era. They can look back to it and yeah. be a, and study the history of it. But they're living in the technology age now, where it's like the digital age. You have everything at your fingertips. Oh yeah, yeah. you don't need anybody. You don't need look at sound anybody. SoundCloud rappers, the whole yeah. thing. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these yeah. kids don't know any different. Right. Whereas we have, especially my generation. I think it's yours too. Where I remember what it was like before the internet. I remember what it was like when the internet first started, and here we are now. Yeah. It's like. Having that weird juxtaposition between no internet and just access to everything, mm -hmm. it kind of fucks you up because yeah. yeah. you don't know where you kind of fall. You like teeter totter back and forth. Yeah. Right. But kids that grew up in like 
I know people that have kids, like my homies that have kids now that are like fucking between the ages of like three and 10, yeah. know how to operate an iPhone and iPad and oh, all that yeah. shit better than I do. Totally. Yeah. And it's oh, just yeah. like, this is what they know. It's in their DNA now. Yeah. So yeah. for kids like Chris Chan to come up and be like, oh, I can just do this on YouTube by yeah. myself, build up a fan base, sure. create my own product and like merch and do all this and make six figures a year. Why the fuck would I need to ride for these companies? And then that makes these companies want to fuck with you even more. Right. But it's funny because the way that I, I mean, skateboard company every skateboard company can go out of business tomorrow absolutely and skateboarding would still go and progress and everything because there's all these channels raj right. there's yeah. youtube instagram it's funny to think it about would like still kind of survive mm-hmm. you know I think the, the companies that aren't going to go out of business are the people that own the wood shops yeah no you're 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 right yeah. you know but if there was only wood shops and who owns the wood shops paul owns their wood shop do they dwindle owns their wood shop really Fucking Haslam owns his wood shop. Really? Yeah. Brainchild ain't going nowhere. Where are you going? What is happening? Wait a minute. Right Big now. hen dog just. Can I go to the bathroom? And he's yes. crawling on the Big floor. <laughs> 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 My stomach was hurting so much. Oh, you got the bubble guts? <laughs> I was trying to hold it the whole time. I'm like, oh I love God. he's crawling on the. This guy's <laughs> crawling on the floor. It's so funny. Go, hey, look, go, go take a pee. Oh go take God. a pee. You're good. I feel like I'm about to have a kid. You're good. <laughs> yo, yo. I love that Big hen dog's the best, dude. Big hen dog. We're in the, the middle of f- we're in the middle of filming and he's I look I'm looking <laughs> over here I look over and I, I see him on the floor, floor I see him crawling on the floor yeah. I didn't even see him get out no <laughs> me neither bro has no podcast etiquette whatsoever no podcast <laughs> etiquette you know <laughs> let's see how long it takes Big Hand Doc should we time I'm excited you think he's in a one or two I Wait, think he's, he's going take, number two you think are we so? taking a he break he said his stomach I feel like he got the Bee Gees yeah. here we go nine oh nine we'll give him about I think he went in there in like nine oh seven Raj nine oh eight. I, I hear a flush. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hear the toilet. Oh, it's done. Down. Right down. Down. Hey, at least he's a gentleman. He puts the seat down. That's right. I had a roommate mm-hmm. that would drop the toilet seat. Oh, I hate that. Every time. He wouldn't lift it you down and shit. set it down. Nah. Yeah. Like, uh, every, you, you, I, would you would go through the, the whole to shatter. <laughs> two minutes. Dude, you, you know what's funny? Two minutes. That was quick. So it, it was pretty, cool, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Everything come out all right? Yeah. Yeah, you good? Smooth sailing? Are you guys still Okay. Still yeah, we're still good. Come you don't on. have to. You yeah. can just walk normal, Yo, bro. It's yeah. <laughs> I don't want to block the cameras. I don't know. Dude, I swear to no, God. No, instead, now we see your back exactly. at the very bottom of the screen. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, well, hey, welcome, you welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. back. How do you dude, feel? Dude, I feel relieved as hell. The entire time, I'm looking at his beer. I'm like, okay, he's going to pee first. Like, I don't want to be the first one to go pee. So I'm waiting on Steezes. I'm just like when he's going to finish this and it just didn't happen. And I'm like, dude, the water. And I'm just like, all right, like, <laughs> enough is enough. I love it how he just didn't want to interrupt anything. Yeah, yeah, I, I, respect just, I respect it. I respect it. Good. I look over, he's crawling on the floor to go take a piss. Yeah, as your nah, first bro, time, you can't bro. be interrupting and like doing you all this. You could have tapped me on the shoulder and be like, hey. I did, I did but, but you didn't feel it. And I was like, I was like, fuck. Like, <laughs> I like tapped you and I was like, yo. Excuse me. Pee. Yeah, I was Excuse like, me. I need some information. <laughs> You're so deep into talking. I was just like, all right, like, I just got to go crawl out of here. Like, I like say something to him. I'm like, yo, I got to. But I'm like, okay, he's got the headphones on. He can't even hear me. So I'm like. You can whisper in the mic. Yeah. I'm like, yeah everybody he's like, hears it. I almost did, but I was like, I don't want to interrupt. Like, you guys are talking. So I'm not going to say it in the mic. So I was trying to say it to him, but he like couldn't hear it. I was just oh, like, all right, I'm just great. going. My ahead. bad, bro. That's great, bro. It, you know, we get in these, these discussions, I know, man. I know. So. That's why I didn't want to interrupt. It. it was so, you know, we're on a roll. And I was just I like, appreciate it. You know what, though? I appreciate the sneak out. Like, you did, You definitely, like. I'm going to try that. Well. I'm going to try the sneak out one time. Dude, pretty funny. Yeah. Just the host. I'm just gone. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just an empty seat. Just, <laughs> the other day, help, help my out. toilet seat mm-hmm. has like a, a fucking, it's sticky. Oh, whoa. You got to clean it. The vinyl? That That's sounded cool. weird on oh, some Steezy shit. Yeah. That is a bummer. But no, it's button. not It's not a bummer because when I fucking, I don't, it doesn't slam. Oh, oh it's so a soft I, close? Yeah. So yeah. like when I like push it down. It's like, it just, yeah. no, it doesn't even make no sound. It oh, just, so you got like a poor man's Toto where it like. You know I have the, no idea what that means. Them Toto toilets, them shits is mad expensive. Oh, yeah. But those are the ones that oh, were like, the you, one that's go, you yeah. drop it and it's just like. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a poor man's Toto. That's hard. They, they <laughs> spray do. your ass hard. too, right? No. No, no, no. They don't no, spray no. your ass? Well, I, a, I, I'm sure you could probably get the ones with the bidet. Oh. Right? Have you ever used a bidet? No. I have. I've never used Fuck one. I've never used it's one. It's the best awesome. thing I've ever. I've heard it is. It's I the just, best thing ever. I've never been to a place. The fact that I've heard two things. 
I've heard it's the best thing ever, but at the same time, it's awkward. So if it's a little messy down there, mm. it can kind of, you know, rile what, it up. Clean it? No, no. Kind of spread it around you a little more. Make sure you yeah. wipe oh before you use God. it. Yeah. You got to wipe before you, what's the point? Before What's the you point? Use it? No, you don't do that. Wait, I didn't Roger's know that Roger's wiping either. clean and then either. using the bidet. I so you, know, uh, I'll, I thought it was I'll like wipe extra and then measure. I'll, it's, it's like the, uh, you're not supposed, it's supposed to, be, uh, it's extra. It's like fucking, what do you put lotion avocado. on it too? Before you, no, <laughs> you, Roger, it's not like, you're like, no, no. Wait, no. so you don't, so, cause I thought it's when you go to those fancy places that have like a separate one, I thought you just got up, put your booty on the yeah. nozzle and then let it do its That's thing. That's what you're supposed yes, to do. dude. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cause if you think about it straight up, we're smearing it in. That's yeah. what we do. We take the toilet paper and smear it in. Here's a good thing. I if, use baby wipes. If, you know what? Just for, just for the if you smear yeah. it in with baby wipes, wipes in. Yeah. I've, I've heard this before. Imagine you got shit on your arm. Would you just take a dry cloth and wipe it off? Exactly. No, you would take. Oh, exactly. you would wash it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's and why I, not to I mention if feels pretty good. Okay, you know? okay. I'm saying. Hey, you know, I've never used one, but I can imagine. It's uh, but a yes, nice experience. I feel like if you don't use baby wipes or some form of wet wipes when you, you know, yeah. when you go, I think you don't get fully you're clean. You're a savage. No, like, fuck you're, no. You're savage as fuck, first of all, but you also got like little little tissue balls in your booty hole that definitely like... What kind of tissue are you using? I don't use tissue. I use baby wipes. I'm just saying. You can't flush baby wipes, Steve. Yeah, you can. It's, you can. There's flushable ones. Not, there are flushable, flushable, flushable ones. Yeah. yeah. You have flushable ones, Rosh? Fuck yes. Yeah. You have to get the ones that are not... They're like septic tank safe. Yeah. And you like that's how you clean up, bro. You got it, like no, no. I'll no, go no, TP. No, no, no. You out and here walking? You go in the wet wipe for the cleanup. No, I walk. see. I'm I'm a morning person, right? Every morning, morning, every yeah, morning, like, like clockwork, like clockwork, yep. right? Morning, I, I'm then I get in the shower. What time? I'm in the shower. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Shit shower. I'm the same way. Yeah, the shit and shower. Shit and shower. You know what happens to me because I get up so early now that I want to shit before I get in the shower, but no, I won't no, have to. And I'll shower, and then I'll get out and immediately have to no, shit. I'm like, no, I'm, no. I'm, that's the worst. I'm clean. No. That's the worst. Why? No, yeah. Yeah. you, you can't feel like dirty again. Have no. you ever gone out of the shower while the shower is still running? Took a shit and then got back in the shower. I haven't done that in a while. No. But I've yeah. done it before, but I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, and like trying to sit down like, like all wet. Like, all wet. <laughs> we need to put a camera in Roger's room Yo. just to see what this guy does. <laughs> hey, this is. I have to bring it up because we just done this before. But like, Raj. What? The shit on my shit shit, dude. <laughs> shit on your shit. Shit on your shit. Yeah. Your shit. <laughs> Raj, that shit was the shit? funniest one of the, like, my funniest thing. And I'm so life. happy that it happened in Kansas City. Too. Hand off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was fucking staying at Sean Malto's house one night with Raj, a bunch of people. And in the morning, I fucking go in the bathroom, shit, but then came back out. Without the flush. Without the flush. For some reason, I don't remember. I don't even know why. <laughs> but I came back out, and Raj went right in. And I was like, yo, Raj, fuck. And he's like, nope, nope, shitting on your shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Which funny. is fucked up because that means you it's were just horrible. sitting in there basking in it. Like, yeah, you don't, do, I you don't do a courtesy flush. Like, it's horrible. I don't know, man. That's, that's a wild one. I've never shat one. on anyone's shit. <laughs> he shat on my shit. The truth of the story is I actually flushed and then took a shit. But <laughs> <laughs> it sounds funnier. Shitting on your shit. Shitting on, on your shit. shit. The truth shitting comes on out. your shit, dude. <laughs> well, a couple other things to talk about, Raj, before we... uh before we get out of here, you know. We're getting out of here? That's, yeah. Oh, bro, it's almost time for you to leave, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> won't even help. Anyway. Hello? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I was, um, I, you know what I loved, Raj? I loved uh, Felipe Nunez. It was Double Rock. Double, Double Rock. Rock. This that should cool. be the whole show. We should have just talked about this guy the whole show. Dude. Yeah, yeah. The Go whole entire it. show. Go for it. Dude, he had a bomb one. His steez yeah, is it. fucking so good. I'm not Bro. even gonna lie. The way like a kick flip, like I don't know if you call it a front side flip or just like a kick, whatever. But on a quarter pipe, the way it looks when somebody who has no legs does that with their hands and like they're oh, so yeah. quick with it, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. but it's just his roller ways and his he's just the got back steez, nose blunt. Oh, back nose, the back blunt. nose blunt. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they should have had anybody with legs in that part. I know, probably whatever. It's, I think he could have carried his own. I kind of felt oh, the yeah. same way. Yeah. But I knew it was his homies and I, stuff, right? Too. Yeah, totally, yeah. you know. But you don't. I don't think you need legs in that part. I, I, you know, when I was watching that, I was thinking, I was like, dude, I'd love to like talk to him and ask him if there's a trick or something that he would love to do but can't. 
It seems like you can't. There you know is what? not a no. Honestly, a I point. thought about that too. Did you? When you yeah. Because when you see somebody with you know with legs mm-hmm. do like a tray flip or something, yeah, that's like. I don't know if that's possible. He could do it. I, could, I mean, I'm sure. You know, the only thing I think sure is like off, off a bump or something. Manuals. Right. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I wonder if there's something that he really wants to do or has tried. That's a good question. A lot to do, but just can't. Dude, I don't you know, know his injuries. Like on the fucking like front feeble and shit down the rail and all oh that. I'm like, God. bro, back, back yeah. when you're ready. Yeah. yeah, man. Love yeah, I don't see the manuals. I don't think the manuals could be. I think he could I don't see do it. it. Yeah. No, if you think about like, dude, look at the shit he's doing. He's no, I, 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 for sure. Yeah. I Who's feel, just, oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I feel like you have such a, a, a crazy amount of upper body strength. You know when you see people do calisthenics and shit where they can like right. maneuver their oh, bodies? Yeah. I feel like it would be similar to that mm-hmm. where it's like they could he could possibly like lift his torso up and do a nose manual where he's not on the board. It's just his hands. hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Shit right. like that. I wonder mm-hmm. if that, I, I haven't, yeah. As hey. a manual ass dude, I'm going to go ahead and say I think he can do it. <laughs> <laughs> manual ass dude. Manual ass dude. I'm going with it. We'll take it. He's a uh, dude. I love it, bro. He's he kills it, man. It's inspiring, dude. It is. It is. I love exactly. that. Exactly. Love it. Yeah. When I watched that, I was thinking like, you know, we all have our first world problems and shit that we think about and it's like, bro, this dude uh, and this is not to say he doesn't battle with, you know, his own depression or mm-hmm. shit that's going on in his life, but to see somebody who has half of their body missing and still doing this shit on a skateboard and loving it and yeah. enjoying it and just oh, like yeah. going for it man that shit's like yeah. it makes you put a lot of shit into perspective oh, that's totally. totally totally he's better than me on a skateboard straight he's, up a lot of people a lot of people are better than you because well, he skateboards he has no legs though and it's trips me the fuck out like <laughs> i can't do what he does so you had an ld story earlier about val serve i remember back in the day it was like early 2000s or whatever there was a girl tour that came through kansas city and it's where was i right. met you no, this was before. Uh, this was like when Paul was still on grill, Jeremy, like the whole little squad. Yeah. This was before Sean was like fully on. Oh. And this was around the time when Hot Chocolate was out where Kenny Anderson was like, this dude's got nolly nose grinds no matter mm. the size. Yeah. And it was a demo at KC Indoor. And we had this weird little handrail that was like, not a handrail, it was super small. But I remember like yelling out, I was like, Nolly nose grinding. And you were like, it's too small. I was like, what happened in no matter the size? <laughs> indoor. I'm Casey, indoor. This was this had to have been like, I think I was still in high school. And I didn't like, do it? No, you wouldn't do it. You were wow. like, it's too small. <laughs> wow. Hell really? Yep. Whoa. Not even taking requests from no the crowd. No requests. Huh? Damn it. He let him Kenny down. fucked my whole down. life up with that shit. Dude, Dude. no matter the size. <laughs> no matter the size. I got fucked up. Uh, anything you want to add to this, Raj? Nope. I no? just think it, he could have just held the part all along. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. bro. I'd love to see a street part. Street part. Basically. Right? Yeah, man. That'd be yeah. insane. Mm. Big Hen, anything to add to uh... Actually, you know, I'd like to see him skitching. That'd be insane. What do you mean, skitching? <laughs> Like basically hold on to a car down the street. Oh my god! <laughs> it just be, looked nuts. <laughs> so one thing I think, is, speaking of nuts, yeah. one thing I think about is like <laughs> the balls <laughs> button. He's just sitting on his balls the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> like think about coming down wrong, and, right? And just you don't have, yourself constantly, bro. You don't have anything else to like mm. cushion that. Maybe I wonder if he wears a cup padding. or something. Yeah, would you have to? Maybe. Because, bro, that's some force coming down in that general direction. Well, it's another question I'll ask him when I see him. Yeah, bro. please do, yeah, man. Just, I think about that. Show. But I love it. It's all in the arms. Yeah, but I, I even, like, the. I want to say the first skater that I saw that didn't have legs was, like, Ogdi Sosa or yeah. something like yeah. that. And I used to think the same thing. I'm like, bro, you're slamming on that shit, like, yeah. right. on your fucking, He's just like, bouncing around his nuts. Yeah, like, like, do you South tuck Park them episode. shits up in your waistband? Or, like, how do you fucking, like... Straight <laughs> up. <laughs> how do you, you know... I don't know. Alleviate that pressure. I'm trying to think. I never really focus on That's my where balls. where comes from. I never really focus <laughs> on my balls when I skate, but... He probably does. Don't they... Don't they... they don't they compact don't they shrivel up a little bit like smooth as eggs Jesus. <laughs> my balls are as smooth as eggs <laughs> I feel like my uh, just in case you didn't get one in there i haven't gotten one in yet but i was it's thinking okay. about it. um i don't i don't know if they're droopy though you know what i'm saying i think they suck up and when you're when you're doing activities and that's what i'm saying i never really noticed you, no, you're probably right you i need probably, to no yeah, you're probably think, right because you think take about like, next time what just take note Next time, next time I will. Yeah, actually, because I'm doing, doing right now. Like I'm doing kegels right now, 
And I can kind of feel like a little. You're doing what? No. Kegels. What the fuck's that? Kegels. Kegels. What the fuck's that? Kegels. Kegels. What the fuck's that? Kegels. 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 Tomato. Tomato. Potato. Potato. I thought that's just for girls. That's for guys can do that. Guys Bro, do how do you think you pinch off a loaf? Huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> you're, you're, let me get this. Right. Let me get this right. Okay. You're, you're He's sitting over there. Let me get. You're sitting over there talking to us and I'm squeezing doing it right now. squeezing your butt cheeks together. No, not my butt. What? Well, I can squeeze my butt cheeks together, but it's a whole different thing. So, so your ass ball connector, <laughs> sphincter, the gooch, the taint. Yeah. So you know, like when you when you take a piss and like you know it's coming to you an end, cut it, and you cut it you off, cut it off. Yeah. yeah. I you, cannot do that. I don't have that talent. But why are you sitting clearly. there doing that right now? Because you were talking about sucking your balls in, and so you're. So I was trying to think about like you know when you go down and you pop you there's like force yeah yeah <laughs> no it's no Jesus, dude I'm doing it too. no dude you're, I think your balls are definitely loose as fuck <laughs> no when you're fucking doing I think they I think they they I think they tighten up no but that yeah. must be some manual ass shit <laughs> manual no ass. like when you manual you tighten your core yeah because you got to get balance right so you might be balls might be tight. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. You okay. Get well, I, when you other get skating, yeah, I think you're pretty loose. You pretty, might be, yeah. You no. Might be loose. I think they. No, they suck up. Really? I think so. I think not so like, too. They're not going in your stomach, but there's a little like. You think their tight, the tight sack is. Tight. I think it's like I think it gets tight. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think, I think it does. I think mine is swinging. I think I, I yeah. fucking sw- I think they're swaying. Really? Yeah, I think so. Dude. Hand up. I still don't understand the point of man kegels kegels. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still lost here. Can someone catch me up to speed here? I don't. Right. I'm not understanding. Real this. quick, Caesar, explain okay. the kegel. It's a so control, it's I've a never control heard thing. It's a I control never. thing. So you're. <laughs> you don't want to shoot off your load too soon. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I thought that I was did. edging. Same same thing. It is, but when Go you want to stop the edge, you have to like control it control you have to like stop the force and if you have the force within you <laughs> before it comes out of you <laughs> i don't understand why you why you would it's, a, why it's people, a whole thing it's a thing okay people do it when you go to the bathroom like when you when you take a piss <laughs> yes it ends eventually but there are there's like a little residual that you need to that either you get out get okay. out you push it out so you can push it out but then if there's a point where you come to the end of it where you like you want to cut the stream mm-hmm. then you can kegel, okay. kegel. Okay. you're taking a piss it the, has a lot of yes. the doorbell rings you got to cut it off yeah. and you got to hobble over to the t- I, to see hey, who's at the door. I've never heard this shit ever. Yeah, I've never But done you do it, it though. Wow. You never heard you of it, never but heard you do it. it. Right. You don't even know you, don't. you do. I understand what you're don't. talking about. Okay. Never heard but of there, it. But there is right. an exercise. Now let me let me put it in a perspective. Squeeze your butthole, right? I was <laughs> <laughs> talking about JB Gillett on primitive. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. When you like yeah, you, when you squeeze, I get it. Yeah, that's technically doing that. So it's just a, a, another muscle that you can build up a tolerance and you can kind of build up a way to control it. Okay. So when you contract it, you're able to, if you want to have prolonged orgasms or you want to prolong <laughs> your your time before right. ejaculation, right. You, can, you can grab that, you can grab a hold of it, you can stop it, and you can keep going. I love the conversation we have here. Dude, I, we got our own Dr. Drew over here. Yeah, yeah there's something new today. Hey, you know it's a real thing, man. Yep. I don't know how much of that is actually going to benefit your life, but it's a thing. I'm pretty sure Shane O'Neill's new company is called Kegel. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. good. Pretty sure that. We'll find good. out in April. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's do. I I, I, I do want to talk about. Um, what are you talking about? JB Gillen on Primitive. Perfect fit. Wow. Fuck. In that edit. Was like menace vibe, yeah, all the way through. It's funny because last episode we talked about JB Gillett's tail slide shove it oh, yeah. in, mid, yeah. in the middle of the ledge, Love that. and it's just, it just the way it like it kind of trans transformed into him being on primitive and getting to see an edit of him just like doing his thing, doing his thing. I love. Did the, you gotta? I gotta love primitive, bro. I mean, they're taking like all of these skaters and putting them in one house. You know, what yeah. I'm saying JB Gillett. He's been around forever. Yeah. Days. And now he uh, finally has a, a home. Well deserved. A well deserved home. And he's fuck, dude. He's JB Gillet. He's the best. Yeah. Is it switch pronounced from, Gillet or Gillet? Pray Gillet. Gillet. It's probably Gillet. JB Gillet. It's it's Jean-Baptiste Gillet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to thought. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, we're Gillet. American. <laughs> yeah, cockroach. Uh, another heel flipper. 
Yeah, you know, black skater. Switch, switch front, <laughs> black skater. <laughs> switch front heels. Honorary, yeah, all dude. day long. Yeah. The best, probably the best in the business. I think. Wait, yeah. I I couldn't tell like what his ender was. Like, did you did you guys all see that? What was that? The switch front switch front side three sixty heel. Yeah, on, on the, the bank, switch the front bank that was like straight up and down. Yeah. But it almost looked like a late flip. Like I watched it a few times. I was like, did he flip it late or no, what? I think it was it was just heel. So I think it was just heel. I think it's because like the rotation of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, but the, okay. that bank looked really hard to skate too. Yeah. yeah, I skated that thing. It is hard. Yeah, but that clip reminded me of like a early world videos, like barrel banks mm. with a, the song and everything. Uh -huh. I was like, damn, dude, that was like. I'm sure. You know what's crazy about that though is I'm sure Heath probably was oh, like for sure. on that. Yeah, like, yeah, that we're gonna dun, do this. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And yeah. we talked about that a couple of episodes ago when we were talking about the. Um, was it the, I forgot what the name of the edit was, but it was just like a random edit that didn't make sense. I was like, I feel like Primitive always has yeah. their foot, their finger on the pulse where they dude. understand oh, how to like do the, shit. That was the one that was um, What's the that? dude's song. Oh, testing the ASAP Rocky. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, I, I feel like this isn't on brand. I actually talked to Heath yeah. um, just about it. And he was like, you know, we were trying something different. We wanted to see. We gave somebody a project and see what they could do. And I was like, okay, uh -huh. it makes sense. Like yeah. I get it okay. because they're so good at doing stuff like that, yeah. where it taps into people like you from the, your era, where it's like I remember this being yeah. like that, this takes me back to that. That whole edit just reminded me of like mid nineties. Totally. Like world industry menace totally. with the B roll shit. and all the like the, the, so good. the the fonts and all that yeah, shit yeah, too. And like, like what was going on like the whole writing exactly stuff so, like yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so sick. Yep. Congrats to JB man, dude. Robert so. Neal, the marathon line. Oh yeah, he yeah. Yeah. at the insane. spot in San Pedro, bro. Yeah, yep. yeah. The, in Wilmington, just whatever. Kept yeah, going. And yeah, I Wilmington think too. that the thing about Primitive's team is like not only do they have some of the top pros in the business top right now, amps. but they are grooming some of these. Not some. They're grooming all of their yeah. AMs to be on that level. Robert as well. Neal yeah. is on another level, bro. Robert Neal is going to be a force to be reckoned. Oh, yeah. You oh, see his sure. Instagram though. On that, I had to fucking. I'm not hating at all, but you see his Instagram. Like welcome to the team, yeah, yeah. JB Gillette. Mm -hmm. It was literally one trick of JB Gillette, and it was all him skating. <laughs> oh, really? It was all him skating, and it was literally one. You know trick. what's funny? Robert, Robert put, post that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, mean yeah. It, it's, I get he, it. He whatever. Shined. Yeah. He shined. You know what's funny though is I love the people who are like, "Hey, happy birthday, Eldridge!" And then it's just like a photo of me and Eldridge. Or like they, they always post birthday well, photos, but they yeah. put themselves in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, always yeah, laugh, I always laugh at that because the people that are following them don't know, may not know these people or whatever. Yeah, but so you have to. Isn't like, that you're like like yo? This is JB Gillette. Actually, he doesn't know. He doesn't even know who that dude is. Probably. I mean, I'm sure he knows, but he's he doesn't have the like awareness. we know. Yeah, yeah he doesn't right, have the awareness right, right. we have. Yeah, I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Like, damn, it was one trick of him. It was all yeah, but when you like, I mean, I probably would do the same shit. Like he mm. killed it, he crushed it. Robert yeah. Neal, his he did his moment like in that video shine through for sure. For sure, I think like the crazy thing is to like seeing it. I was just like, damn, he's in the same clothes for most of his clips. Oh, yeah. He must have been yeah. the same day yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. It made me be like, all right, the next part I film, I'm just gonna pretend and wear the same <laughs> outfit every he day. Did that. A lot of people did that. Yeah, people have done that yeah. before. Yeah. A lot of people did that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Chris, you did that? No, Eldridge, you did that. I did not do that. No. I've never done that. Okay. I think more people should do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm he was here it. for a couple of weeks, right? Filming some for some of that stuff. Yeah. Was he here a week or two? Maybe? I feel like it was like two weeks. A couple of weeks? Yeah. We try to get him on. And... Yeah. Sometimes yeah. people don't want to. You know what's funny is a lot of foreign foreigners. They're afraid of their English. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And I talk to them. I know them, and yeah. I'm like, "You're fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You speak perfectly." Yeah. I a little self conscious, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's funny too when you know we get a lot of stuff, especially when we do the nightclub experience um, premiere. People are like you need to get this person on, and why haven't you talked to this person? On it's like sometimes these people don't want to be a part of it either. Yeah. You know, like you got to think there's. There are so or many they, things. They're waiting for something to come out, or they're waiting for like a moment to Kenny promote Anderson's something. Kenny Anderson waiting for something like, to drop right. before he comes on. It's yeah. like there's so he has many. No idea what he's waiting for to drop, <laughs> but he's like, oh, when I have something, yeah. hey, like, you, dude, you don't need to snap on wheels, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snap on wheels. No, but right. I, I think it's. I do think that there's something to be said about the fact that like we all have networks of people, and especially you guys that you can tap into. Oh, yeah. But not everybody wants to come and sit down and it's not be interviewed, but sit and talk with all these cameras and all these lights like it can be intimidating sure, if you're sure. not comfortable in that oh, setting. Yeah. for sure definitely but it's funny like 
some people that have come here and were intimidated. Mm. Five Immediately. minutes in, just like. Yeah. I always oh, yeah, reference yeah, the Antoine yeah, they, interview because yeah. the Antoine, you could tell he was super timid in the beginning, like, and then he just like loosened he up. Straight up told, he straight up told us like, "Yeah, you get like a half hour with me," and then like we're here for like two hours, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> and we know him. Yeah, not like he just came in. It's like yeah. thirty minutes, oh, yeah. right? It's like, but then he was just got warmed. So up. Yo, after yeah. like thirty minutes, I'm done. I'm like, all right, let's go make a great interview. People are gonna love that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I just think, it, yeah, it, it's so difficult like obviously you can't please everybody but yeah. there are so many people that want to see their favorite pro or their favorite oh, totally. skater to be a part of this and sometimes that doesn't Where's this guy going like no where you going to the bathroom now he's got to pee gotta yeah this. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to charge his phone right now he thinks he's me see see what happens man we get new people on and it's just, <laughs> shit just changes, it's just changes. <laughs> <laughs> people don't know how to act <laughs> Hey, we're talking about this song though, uh, the Felipe song. You mm-hmm. notice well, uh, the, his song? It was like Felipe song. Uh, Felipe, the double rock. The oh, double Felipe, rock. The double yeah. rock yeah. It was like anything is possible or some shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just like, dude, that's so cool. It started off with him like tying up his pants around his legs. So yeah. this fuck it. Like, I'm man, saying man. this whole show should be about this dude. I swear. Man. I feel like T.J. Rogers had like a motivational song too, like rising to the top or wherever it was. Was it? Yeah, I think this part was called Rising. Yeah, it was like, called Rising yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, see, it was a, yeah. a theme for sure, yeah. that man. I love that shit, man. TJ's song was like, I feel like it was chopped up quite a bit. Was it? I didn't, I In order didn't to fit the edit. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Something that we haven't talked about is kind of like a few weeks ago now, but Boo Johnson had a part that came out on Thrasher as well, and hmm. a lot of the, the first half of his part was like motivational like speaking. I thought that yeah. was awesome. I thought it was super yeah. cool, and I know it has been. Well, he's into all that stuff. But he exactly like yeah. he's very tapped into that that mindset and like just you know positivity and shit like mm-hmm. that. I thought it was really cool because you don't see that too much in in our you know our world where yeah. a video part that can come out and it it was it was a little bit longer than I would have liked to have seen mm-hmm. personally. But I love the fact that he integrated shit that he actually cares about yeah. and the, mm-hmm. his way of life into that shit, creating the you know putting the b-roll to some of these like these great speakers and shit and then also having amazing skateboarding yeah. as well like, i love seeing shit like that because it's different you don't see that a lot yeah yeah, yeah. um murdy the drop murdy the dog dropped a new part can you believe that bark and destroy bark and destroy dude. he killed that <laughs> <laughs> I love literally it. made me smile the whole entire fucking time isn't it amazing dude, how can you Fuck. not man? i hope beagle makes millions of dollars Doing that shit with that dog. Oh, I'm sure. sure yeah. Dude, I was listening I to. I um, seriously hope so. I was listening to uh, My Favorite Murder, and they mm-hmm. actually did a, an episode on Gator, but they actually mm-hmm. brought up Murdy the dog randomly. What? Yeah, it was pretty fucking funny. I was like, whoa. Damn. These are like, people, people know about I mean, yeah. they follow yeah. his Instagram, they yeah. hear about this skateboarding dog, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Dude, the that's la- what I'm saying. I hope he makes a yeah. lot of money. The last fucking trick, the last oh, stair yeah. set, mm-hmm. that's Dude. where I was like, whoa, this fucking dog like really <laughs> like knows what's going down yeah, totally. like this. he's like yeah, yeah he like he's going with it yeah, yeah. he's like fucking knows yeah. what the fuck he's doing yeah i was tripped out about that dude and even on the quarter pipe where he goes up and does a kick turn and yeah. comes back he's down like on back he's on the back yeah, yeah. yeah. yo he at knows the, t- t- the top of the stairs bro and he's just like it's a, then he goes. He's, <laughs> yeah, it jumps on. Yeah, just jump, okay. Bah, it, boom. It, it well, when Beagle there. was here, he was like, he lets Murdy do all the. St- he doesn't like force him to Murdy do anything. His own stunts. Mur- Murdy. <laughs> well, he just lets Murdy. If Murdy's not feeling it. Beagle's not going to push him down some stairs. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Murdy's got to be... That's what it looks like. <laughs> I know, it, it, dude, it looks like it, but yeah. it, even Beagle was like, no, 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 I don't, I don't, no. He's like, Murdy gets on the board. And no, 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 it looks like... Bert. He wants to go for yeah, it. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. Crazy, dude. Dude, it's so sick, what man. What a dog, dude. I love that, Dogs are smart as fuck, oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. My, my Instagram explore page is like nothing but fucking like <laughs> hot fitness chicks and fucking like dog videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's all it is, Kegel bro. workouts and dog videos? I don't watch the Kegel workouts, but <laughs> my shit is, there's some, there's some things. Uh, but no, dude, dogs are fucking dope, man. And Murdy is, Murdy rips. Man. The fucking high five, the like, fact that he like really he like, wait, like, like, he's he ready waits, for it. He knows. He's like, goosh and then the goosh. Oh, the two times if you know me. Yeah. 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 My cat can do that. Come on, bro. Larry can Larry do that. Larry can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that Larry stays underneath the bed every time I'm gonna, I've seen him. I'm going to hurt her. 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 Thank you very <laughs> much. Larry. Um, I'll, I'll post a video of Larry doing it two times. So let's hear it. I could do, Larry could do the shake 
high five and the two times. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hundred percent. Do you walk, Larry? No. <laughs> I seen the other day some somebody walking. There's a girl people, in the uh, canals that always walks for cat. But people so think it's weird. weird. Yeah. People think it's weird. But if you saw it every day, you wouldn't think it's weird. It'd just but be you normal. don't. Yeah. First I know. person that walked a dog, people probably thought they were exactly. Weird. Yeah. Sure. What do you? What is my fucker walking a dog? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like <laughs> that was probably like in fucking 1850 or something like that. I'm just like, saying, at one point yeah, in time, it, it happened. To the 2019, I still I, don't I really see many cats. And didn't work out very well. Oh, the, your, your rabbit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, says, some things aren't hop, meant hop, to. Hop, hop, stops. Yeah. Pick it up. Hops the other way. Hop, hop. Because <laughs> <laughs> Basil doesn't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, mm-hmm. anyway, Murdy the dog, bro. Love Murdy. that dog. Like I said, man, Beagle. Uh, he needs to make money off that thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's not often People, that you see a dog like Murdy on a skateboard too, because usually it's like a, a bulldog breed, whether it's like Frenchies or pit bulls. Or, I mean, uh, French bulldog. Or, wow, that's the same fucking thing. Frenchies or English bulldogs yeah. are yeah. usually like the ones you see. But you yeah. see these dogs, normal looking dogs on Instagram, with like millions of followers. True. You know, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. what the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah. I got to say it's pretty rad that Thrasher posted this. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 90% of the content out there is on Thrasher. Yeah. That's true, too. Yeah. How you doing over there, Big Hen? I'm good. Yeah? I was just thinking, though, too. I was like, I almost wish Beagle had a Beagle. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah, dude. <laughs> The whole time I was like, damn, he doesn't have a beagle? Like, this is not. It should. Like, no offense to Murdy, like, yeah. missed opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just a, you know. He miscalculated his send right there. Yeah. The little things. It happens, bro. It happens. Oh, you want to kill this big dog? Big oh, no. Yes. I mean, Cheers, yes, man. But, oh, Cheers. No. He's going to have to crawl to the bathroom again. Chris. Keep saying in that shit. Cheers to me, Chris. Cheers to you. <laughs> Cheers to you, bro. Hey, cheers to you, Big Hand. Thanks for coming, Big Hand. Thanks for coming. Send man. it. A um, couple more things, and we'll get to a, another three winners from our uh, membership contest. Yeah, right. We'll get to that a little bit later at the end of the show. But I uh, wanted to, um, was it DGK? Thor? Thor? Thoro. Thoro. Thor? Thor. 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 But that's Thor's not how you spell Thoro. What's Thoro? Thoro. It's like. Thoro. When, nah, it's like the you, you spell it that way. No, you don't. It's like when you spell though, but it's like T H O. T H O. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, it's, it's same. Thorough. Yeah. Oh. Like real thorough. I'm thorough. Thorough. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It was a bit interesting to say the least. It was. A, I, 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 didn't, I didn't. I didn't know. Any, I didn't know anybody on there. Pretty much. Well, I know Jam. Um, Jamir. Jameer. Yeah. Thank you, bro. He stayed here. Yeah, he's a rad kid. Awesome. Super great. fucking, yeah. super dope dude. But everybody else, I didn't know anybody else. There's that dude who did the nollie flip over the trash can, though. Oh, uh, Kevin. Oh, that Baloo. was a nice nollie flip. That was a really bro. good nollie. Nollie, really good. Dude, he's like a young pops. I Pop see. They did yeah. have that, yeah. Plus, he's yeah. also dressing like him from that time True. period. Fucking I costume party. Like I just... it. That it didn't feel DGK to me, right? I don't know if it's because I don't know anybody on the team anymore, and there's just like there's like random white dudes sprinkled in that don't look like they need to be a part of DGK whatsoever. It's just like, dude, Will Mazzari. I th- I'm I sure see that's more, probably he did not look like he fit, but I want to see more of that kid. That's probably who I'm thinking of. Which yeah. was that? He was sprinkled in that he weird was montage, in a little thing, montage right? thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's like, it's like yeah. two dudes after like um, that Kevin Blue guy, huh? I was I was watching this like yo am I that fucking like out of it that I don't know anybody on DGK right, anymore right, like right. it just did I don't know like but I think they were introducing these dudes or something it wasn't okay. like I I feel like that was like DGK just owning their backyard it's like hey we own Philadelphia mm, you know okay. I cool. cuz like it's all Philly pretty much yeah, you know yeah I just think DGK for me was like it was just a solid squad of just like a few dudes. Like when I think of DGK, and obviously it's not like this anymore, but it's like Stevie, Marcus, Lenny, mm-hmm. um, fucking Wade. Obviously Wade, primitive. He's moved on and things like that. But you Wade, don't more. Like, I know, I know. <laughs> but like, and Dane Vaughn, like you know, yeah. you think about these dude, Marquise Henry. Like you think of these yeah. guys that are just like DGK, and everybody has to evolve and everybody has to grow, and I respect it totally. Mm, sure. But I watched this and I was like, I don't know. 90% of these kids that are that are on DGK anymore and I, I didn't realize that like one they had such a fucking like massive squad now because you never think of DGK oh, as like a team that has a shit ton of people totally. but everybody in this video I was like wow there's more 
Tree? I just felt like it was like them going, hey, we own Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. This is our backyard. I haven't seen it, but what clips does Stevie have? Because I'm always like, yeah, Stevie dude, has, he has uh, some good clips. clips. I'm like, yeah, hyped yeah. Up, you he know? had a switch nose manual, shove it at in Pulaski, DC yeah. at Pulaski, wearing Fila's, which I was like, that's hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he did front nose. 277. Yeah, it, yeah. Um, in Atlanta. And it, yeah. It was a checkerboard? Yeah. Yeah. Checkerboard in Atlanta. And some jean shorts, too. I was like, yo. Some George? shorts? <laughs> some George. Like, only niggas can fucking rock George and, like, make that shit look good. Man. There's Jerron the Wilson. One. Yeah, it is. That's the first one. Jerron Wilson, man. Exactly. George. Straight up. I still talk to him. Whenever I see him, I talk to him about his George. <laughs> 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 Love Jerron Wilson and his George. See, just you reckon, did you uh, see Shanahan was wearing cargo denim? Denim car. I don't think I feel like I didn't pay attention to that. Really? Hmm. Yeah, I was like, whoa, denim cargos. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't think I noticed that. Yeah, it's like midway through his part. Oh. It's <laughs> <laughs> a wild combo. It I don't is. think I can pull that off. Right? Denim, I, cargo. denim cargos were never a good look. It was back that. Mm, I remember. Jerron like, Wilson. Oh no no denim cargos. Sorry. Denim cargos. Yeah. Who I'd did say denim like denim cargos. Two thousand three, two thousand four. <laughs> I had some Fubu denim cargos with the fucking 04 Southside jersey. It was baby blue and white. I ran that shit hard. Denim yeah. cargos with some white on white forces. This was like around the time because I'm obviously. Would Missouri. you be embarrassed looking back at that? No. 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 Okay. no rap music made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely like early two thousand fashion, greatest era of all time. If Amazing. I could, if I could still rock four X tall tees right now, like if I if they were accessible, I one hundred percent would do it. You I bet should you bring find it back. It. Start your own company. I'm Be the one. There you go. Full Don't circle. Break me with a good time. <laughs> <Straight up>. um, <laughs> Stevie Williams was killing it on Instagram like a little while a little while back. Mm-hmm. Remember that rush? He was coming out with all these clips, skating the Beebles Park. Oh, yeah, he was, oh, he was yeah, killing yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was, speaking of Air Force Ones, he was skating in Air Force Ones, which I've go. tried to do before, and them soles are like this thick, you and know that shit is not right easy. Who? Bobby Pulido has been skating he in Air Force them. Ones. Oh, no shit. He yeah. loves them, yeah. Damn, I don't, I can't, I try. Good for probably heel I flips. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. You're <laughs> probably <laughs> good for heel Bobby, flips. Bobby sprays his all black. Why don't he just get the all black leather ones? I think he's just, he's basically trying to like not promote Oh, uh, you be saying. low key. Mm. Low key. Okay. But I'm sure okay. if they send him a box, he might start wearing this. Of course. It's a whole day. This yeah. a, that's not the SB yeah. program. Yeah. That's a whole side yeah. thing. That's sportswear. Yeah. 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 Uh, Cater. Let's talk about Cater, dude. Oh I have. I have that shit was fucking funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hella funny, dude. It's just like you're hanging out with a fucking 16 year old. Dude, I just remember back when I fucked, like, was a young kid. I definitely fucked with some people. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucks with some people. Oh, yeah. But I also remember looking now, look, not that I remember, looking back on it, he's going to be like, fuck, I was a dickhead. Because <laughs> that shit sucks looking back on it. Because I looked at him like, dude, you're a fucking little dickhead, dude. Yeah, but like, he's but, at that age where he can do yeah. that. Yeah, but. You know, and it's, it's like. It's kind of sick. Like, it's, like, amazing, that's why it's yeah. amazing. That's like why he's one of my favorite dudes. Like, it's amazing out there dude. right now. I love it because you thing. only have a small window of time to be a little kid, right? And you got to be an adult for the rest of your life. Yeah. And that like, shit fucking sucks. No, like, he's dude. got like two more years or yeah. one more year. Actually. Yeah, like once yeah. he, once I, he I hits, hope he doesn't change. No, he's gonna hit this weird yeah. puberty growth spurt where like, because he's still a little kid yeah. now. Like he's gonna grow up. And it's gonna be a weird. He's gonna weird, get a girlfriend, like, and things got weird. Yeah, yeah like his, yeah. he's got the little starter dreads now. His hair is gonna get long. He's start feeling himself. He's gonna realize like, yo, I'm kind of popping. Like shit's tight. His he kind of seems gonna... like it. He knows right now. Nah, he, nah, he's still a little kid. Like yeah. you can tell for like, sure. Even he, just the way he talk, like you can tell he just sounds so like annoyed to have to do shit the way yeah. he's talking about. No, no, and no. like his his response to like why he likes going on tour, he was like. Oh, you know, there's no chaperones. You don't have to do anything. No like, chores. You don't have chores. <laughs> yeah. Like total little kid response. Dude, like, my favorite it. thing. I do fun stuff and then wait for my mom to text me. <laughs> that was his like his quote of like what I do in life. I do fun stuff and wait till and my, mom my mom texts me. To ruin the fucking fun. <laughs> yeah. oh, you're the man, yeah. dude. Dude, wait. I'd get I'd get crucified if we talk about Cater and we don't shout out Pedlo Skate Park. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I would get crucified. I would get killed back in the valley. They'd be like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about Cater and you don't say nothing about Pedlo? Like, shout out Pedlo. Yeah. Zach yeah. Allen, Stevie Perez, they'd all oh, kill Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. T-Funk. Yeah. Another Cater thing is Cater's on Supreme now. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Mm. In Vans. 
Bro, he busted his shit on the Supreme Bowl. Yeah. Like, yeah. literally uh, busted his shit yeah, on the Supreme Bowl. Yeah. Man. I feel like it's going to take him getting beat up. He's going to get beat up. He's not going to get beat up. No, I don't think he'll get no, beat up. No, he's going to get fucking no, I, no, he's, no he's not he's I, I don't think that'll ever happen i feel like it's gonna take Eldridge. i think what's gonna happen is he's gonna get like Bro. some game from some older black skaters some older dudes that are like yo like kind of go this way and do some shit this way and he's gonna come into his own i don't think because he's, Bro, a, he's gonna get socked but he's and, been doing it with homies. It's not yeah, like yeah, you see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, homies got a sock on whatever. That, I'm not that's saying that's what's, what's gonna yeah. happen. But I, I, a he's, he's, gonna, he, he's gonna laugh it off. A T. Yeah, oh, I used to fuck friend. with a Tiba. Yeah. A Tiba fucking socked me. Like th- this was like a yeah. the the trash can scene was like amazing. I fucking thought that was amazing when they threw him in there. When they threw him in and they started banging on the shit. Like I'm like, dude, that's so sick, dude. He's gonna get fucked up. (laughs) You keep fucking around, you're gonna get fucked up. But if you get beat up by the homies, that's more like just Totally. Tough love. That's yeah, not yeah, even yeah. getting beat up. Yeah. 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 Totally. Right. He might like shed a tear or whatever, but it's yeah. not like really in the streets, like yeah. fucking with the wrong person. Yeah. And that's yeah. not what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying that. He just, someone's going to sock the fuck out of him. Nah. You know, like someone's going to be like, fuck this shit. It, bang. Re- it reminds me of like Bam just fucking with his friends. You yeah. know, like same thing. I think what's going to happen, his hair is going to get longer. He's going to get his braces off. He's going to hit this weird growth spurt. And he's going to be like the Otis. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm kind of tight. I, dude, like, I'm popping. I, <laughs> Ashad, dude. I feel like that kid is the next Ashad for sure. I can sure. see that. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's more. For that's, sure. Yeah, I, res- I, I feel that. Yep. So yeah. well wound it. Well wound it. Well wound it. Well wound it. So well wound it. Speaking of Ashad, like. I had this argument the other day, and I've been preaching that I think he's the best skater on the planet. He is. For sure. Yeah. Is that is that just a dude? That three sixty flip mm. he did in the um, the arson department thing, mm-hmm. where like he like nearly gets hit by a car and then he just flips him off. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That three sixty yeah, yeah. flip is so sick. So and that's perfect. the epitome of a shot too. <laughs> and just laughing. Yeah, he's always like laughing. He's obviously, I have to go with that because I'm on the black side. So yes, I agree. Mm-hmm. But to play devil's advocate, I think in the same. Realm just on a different side of the line. Shane O'Neal is probably our top guy right now. Not our, not our top. Their yeah, top not, guy. Yeah. Damn, ra- racist <laughs> ass. But yeah, yeah I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. Cater is my top guy. <laughs> I think so. I mean, but a shot is in, uh, a shot was the and, and it I'm, is a it's a monumental thing. And I know it's we we joke about the shit and all that, but like to be the first black skater of the year, yeah. Is a fucking monumental feat, for sure. To be for completely sure. honest, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah. that's a testament to not only his ability but his personality and who he is as a person. Everybody yeah. loves him. Everybody loves him. Yeah. And if you don't love him, he's like he doesn't care. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, like it's. Cause I've never met one person that's been like, eh, shod. Yeah, true. You know? Not yeah. to take like, away from Shane, like I love him. Like I watch his parts all the time, but it's mm-hmm. like I think just all around, like if you're talking about just like. Great sponsors, great style, trick mm-hmm. selection, like just overall. I don't know. I think a shot takes him. Yeah, I can see. I can fuck. I with feel that. like Shane's gonna fucking melt some faces when he drops his brand. Yeah, I feel like that too. Yeah, exactly. I think he's because like he's, sitting on some shit. Exactly. That's like, but then a shot. But then yeah. a shot will drop something, and you it's it's They're his back and levels. forth. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, it doesn't even matter. It's it's, it's almost great. like. Yeah, I, I think the reason that Shane is waiting so long is because he had. I've obviously well, he was we've hurt all skated. For well, he was hurt, too. but we've all skated with Shane, and we know how like meticulous he is about certain things. Like he can do a trick perfectly and not think it was good enough. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like also knowing what his what his mindset is when it comes to pushing the boundaries. I feel like he's got some stuff that he wants to do that he may not have done yet. Yeah, yeah. that he knows is gonna like. I think his brand's gonna be the same way. Exactly. Yep. I think it's all very meticulous and he understands yep. the business side of it as well. But when it comes to a well-rounded skateboarder, somebody who can fucking like 540 on training, tray flip a fucking, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. grind Widowmaker in Denver. Like there, there is nobody like a shot for our generation right now. Oh, yeah. I agree. Yep. And um, I think the only person who would be on his heels in a similar caliber would be Zion. Oh yeah, Zion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's keeping. Me and my brother, like he argue, we argue all the time. He's like, yo, Zion. And I'm like, nah, a shot. Like, mm-hmm. And we still haven't came down to like a concrete decision. I'm <laughs> right. Just like, yeah, nah. yeah. But it's opinion yeah. based. Yeah. It's yeah. There, you yeah. can't, it's you can't categorize it. You can, I mean, yeah. There's no scale. Zion's still coming up. Zion's yeah. still got to grow into yeah. that. Oh, yeah. 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 Dude, I was like, yeah. I was walking back from Arrow the other day and I hear beep, 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 beep. 
I'm like, I see this white Audi. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I look, and it's uh, Zion. I was like, what up, Raj? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like what, what are you doing over here? Yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably going to Red Bull or something. Uh, he said he was like, <laughs> just leaving his doctor's office or whatever. Oh, speaking of, uh, Big Hen Dog works at the Huff store. Mm, Brad, really? Brad Comer just mm-hmm. dropped a part with his shoe. Mm-hmm. Brad Comer mm-hmm. or Brad? Cromer too, huh? Brad Comer? Brad, Brad Comer. <laughs> what the fuck? Cromer. <laughs> um, Brad <laughs> Cromer. I thought I said Brad Cromer. Brad Cromer, he, he whatever. Did. <laughs> did I say Brad Cromer? This is a perfect time to just say I'm wearing them right oh, now. Oh, are you? Yeah, those are, oh, yeah. oh, those are nice. Hey, yeah. blur them. They're not paying for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Well, let me <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put these right back on. No, J- joking, joking, joking. I fuck with I fuck with all white shoes. I fuck with Huffs. My only fucking like discrepancy is y'all stop at size thirteen. Oh, y'all don't fuck with the big niggas. I know, I know, I know, I know. And like, I have nothing to do with that. Like, if it were up to me, <laughs> big niggas will be supported. You know, I appreciate that. And I can't do nothing for you right now, but hopefully they're hearing this and they'll be like, Yo, <laughs> give big niggas a chance, please. <laughs> That's what I want to rep. Right I want to rock the chroma too. I fucks with all white shoes. I'd even fucking cuff my pants and let my ankles show. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. you know, to be on brand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I can't do it, man. My toes be in that bitch throwing up gang signs. <laughs> it ain't it ain't cool. Hey, Brad Brad Comer though is so sick. He's, 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 fun fun flick. he's fun to watch. He's fun to watch. He's one of Yeah. I don't understand. I, oh, I said he's this one earlier. of my favorite dudes. I don't understand how Seriously. he has so much power in them little big legs. <laughs> he's so small. Like he's right? so <laughs> He's like, small, right? He, he is a smaller guy. Small it's guy. like him and Gilbert Crockett. Like I don't understand how y'all have that much power in them little fucking legs, man. Dude, the way he's, he catches that one heel flip too, like I don't know. I'm oh just yeah, like oh shit, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, like he's he's like on my like I don't know like top. He's in the club. He oh shit, I don't know. I don't know if he does enough. <laughs> yeah. I don't know What's if he it? does enough heel flips to get the honorary. You know, but he's... What's the heel flip Mount Rushmore for Ooh, Hendo? Oh, wow. shit. Okay, hold on. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, we got Lindsey Robertson. Boom. Uh, done deal. Me, of course. Yes. Done deal. Um, holy shit. How many heads are on that shit? Four. 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 Okay, fuck. <laughs> Two more to go. See, there's so many different heel flips. Though. You, like but this is, this me. is yours. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to put myself on it. As okay. much as I love me some me, I'm just going to put myself on it. Um, but we got Lindsay. We got Neen for sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Holy fuck. What about Uyghur? Oh, duh. oh, yeah. Duh, Uyghur. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, that's not no, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Fucking, I'm just trying to think. Like the, yeah. the gears are turning, but Uyghur, fuck, the last Uyghur one. Uyghur Van wagon. <laughs> the last one. Fuck. Holy damn. You just put me on the spot here. But that's three solid. We got three, three solid. Mm-hmm. Three solid. One more. One, one more. more. Just throw one up if there. If you bro. don't put a black dude up there, I'm going to beat your ass. We have Neen. Neen's up there. He's light, kind of light skinned. Skin, okay. All right. Then we got to go. Holy fuck. Um, How is Marcus on your list? McBride. McBride. He, I mean, hold on. I'm just the fourth. He's definitely on there. But I don't want to just cop out and be like, yo, let yeah, me yeah, just yeah, do yeah. the last one you said. But yeah, fuck. He's got to be on there. He's got to be on. That's it. it. Who's it? That's yeah. it right there. Marcus McBride. Wow. Hmm. Okay. That's a tough okay. list to make off the yeah. top. You know. That's what we That's do just... here. That's what we do here. <laughs> and then and then we'll get all comments. You didn't talk about you. This guy and this guy. Exactly. This guy. Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, Afterwards. what do you expect? We want you want to spend an hour on this shit. <laughs> right. right. That's your list. You know who else would be up there? And I don't know if people are really like if he's on people's radar. But for me, it would be Brad Hayes. Oh, there you go. Brad Hayes had some yeah. fucking heel flips. Heel flips. Yeah, he got some heel sure. flips. Like fakey heel flips, fakey manuals and oh, shit yeah. like that. Sure. Like, Amazing. I fuck for with sure. that. That's yeah. a good little, yeah, yeah. that's good. Shout out I Brad like, Hayes, wherever you are. I saw uh, the Otis did Vario heel flip crook, crook. on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Like on a fucking, I was like, oh yep. shit. There yep. you go. Oh shit, okay. Like, mm-hmm. just so many. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's hard to pick. Who's but got I your think favorite heel flip though? Like, it doesn't have to be anybody that's on like in the industry or whatever, who's got your, your favorite heel flip that you've seen? I don't know. I mean, Neen is just like, I feel like that's a cop out because his is just like clearly mm-hmm. just the most distinct. exaggerated. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. but mm-hmm. Neen's, every time you see it, you're just like, holy shit. Yeah. 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 It's, it's the one that like, stands out the most. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, how the fuck do you do that? Right. <laughs> yeah. But right. I like, I don't know, I like Cromers though because it's like, I like seeing heel flips from people you don't expect to see heel flips. Mm-hmm. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like, Connor he's doing, got a good one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. 
I like that. It's like, oh, fuck. There's a lot of sleeper heel flippers out there. There is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Dude, yeah. Kelly Hart, they fucking do a heel flip con. What's the heel flip contest? Heel flip challenge. 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 Yeah. Of what is it, like 4th of July or some shit? Something like that, <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> what about you, Big Hen Dog? You've never been down to the heel flip challenge. They don't invite you. That's what you. I'm saying. I he tell him, tell him. I think he's mad because I took his him. seat right now. You know, you won't even fucking, <laughs> you won't even invite me down there. <laughs> I gotta I say, it's, I'll it's go. pretty nice. What I have to go here. Yo, you like it, Raj? Uh, I like it. I think Big Hand should take a spot. You think? Dang. Okay. Wow. Yeah. We just get okay. a little laugh simulator, and yeah. dude, yeah. Kelly's out, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Just laugh change simulator. this to that. And Make this. It. Yeah. yeah. Make the yes. button the laugh button. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then Kelly, I mean, it's gone later. Wow. Damn. <laughs> He'd have to sit in the dude. kitchen and just watch us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's hey, fucked up because he lives here. Like, I know, yeah. that's what's funny. <laughs> and it's funny because I've been in this situation where he's going to watch this shit and we're talking about him. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny. Um, listen, we got to wrap this up soon. No. We have a couple more things to wrap talk about. Wrap that shit up, B. We got, um, <laughs> there you go. I got another page. Here. We got to, um, let's talk about, well, right in our backyard, Sebo and Brett Subi. Did they pass the camera the whole time? Just no. no they th- film one another. Do they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's uh, amazing. Which is fucking sick. Brad, that's uh, fucking Brett's, awesome. Brett's amazing, dude. Such a I great skateboarder. I love skating with Brett. He's a f- yeah, fun dude. He's yeah. fun. He's like, yeah, he's fun. Yeah. Fun dude to skate he with. He rips, dude. Yeah. Holy fuck. That man can ollie. Yeah. <laughs> that man can ollie. Fucking good ollie Magic's in the hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought it was sick that Sibo, like started that like line... Just all leaning down the bro. Triple set. I was what I was thinking in my head. I was like, "Has anybody First done a line ever. at Santa Monica Triple Set? Yeah. First time ever, I think. Right? Fuck. Yeah, that was nuts. Hmm. That was cool. I was like, I didn't even know you could do a line there. Like now, I'm gonna go look. Like, oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That was so cool. Yeah, it was sick. Yeah, it was cool. A little homie video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Loved it. Sick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro. Listen, bro. <laughs> What else we got, bro? <laughs> TGK, we talked about that. Murray the dog. Nike SB, Sarah Murrell. Oh, uh, yeah. Not here by luck. Huh? We Not here by luck. Not here by luck. Nike SB, Sarah Murrell. Murrell. Sarah, Sarah Murrell. Mur- yeah. Yeah. God, just, uh, these, these names. I know. I, I hate. It sucks because I hate. But we all laugh and whatever. But the, I hate butchering the names. The reason I put this on the list, whatever, it, was, it reminded me of... Some early Paul Prolta, like, hey, this is our our new dude. Like, you get to know the person, you get to see them skate. Yeah. Like, the way that it was edited, just like it reminded me of some old Paul stuff, and like, I thought that was a s- hmm. sick on Nike's part. Interesting. Yeah. To do yeah. like a profile, do like this like a little profile on this yeah. girl skater, you know? Yeah. I thought it was pretty fucking. You know bad. what I think is really cool too is like, and this, you know, obviously we got Hillary here, and I, I think it's such a. It's a dope time in skateboarding now where there are a lot of females that are participating and getting recognition. And and we're obviously it's a male dominated sport and we're opening the door and being accepting and allowing these people to come in and flourish and find their lane because we've all started at some point. And it doesn't take away from our love or our passion for skateboarding just because our skill set isn't on a certain level. Like, I think everybody is allowed to come in and enjoy the same thing and be an inspiration to other people and i think the the movement of female skateboarders right now is such a huge thing because it's allowing other women to come in and they don't all have to be the best skateboarders but maybe they can be the best photographers yeah Yeah. you know what i'm saying or maybe they can be the best they don't have to be the best anything as long as they enjoy skating we all have this love and this genuine joy and passion for skateboarding and it's like we haven't seen a time like this at least in my time of skateboarding where Female skateboarding is so prevalent, and I yeah. think that's incredible, man. Is it, yeah. I think I think the the push that Nike is doing with the, the whole females mm-hmm. is incredible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Straight up, like the, the whole um, was it the crazy commercial, the, um, crazy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's only crazy until you do it. Or something. I forgot like, what yeah, I, yeah. 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 I think I'm like like the like best part, or like I was thinking of this on like the way here, or Dream when I got girl. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that that's just tight. Yeah, but um, I was thinking about just like I was like. As a kid, I remember just talking about, oh, man, like, I wish I could have a son so he can skate, you know? But now it's like, it doesn't matter. Like, I can have a daughter or a son. Like, 
whatever they could skate like right. that shit's tight it's just like it's or you crazy. Can have a dog that skates or a dog yeah that's right you can have a dog you can have a dog that's yeah. uh, crazy everybody skates what's uh yeah. fucking what's his Alfonso yeah. Alfonso Ross yeah. 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 we need Everybody's Alfonso skates. on the show dude I know he's amazing oh absolutely yeah. dude. great great dude Alfonso. that'd be a fun one to have on this but show. no you're right man I, I think it's such a cool thing that like obviously especially Nike they're pushing the whole equality movement and all that stuff too where that commercial that they did with Serena and like mm-hmm. all these women that oh, they yeah, have yeah. in different had the little sky brown girl in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, had these different women from you know different disciplines that are all a part of this Nike umbrella. I think it's such a fucking like it's an empowering thing because we we're all adults. We're all you know here on this panel. We're all men, and we think about like stuff from a male perspective. But you think about the little girls that are looking up to these women as their heroes and just the things that they'll be able to do because they have representation for themselves. When you saw that Dream Crazy um, commercial, Mm -hmm. how did it make you feel? Dude, it made made me feel like it hit me right in the heartstrings. Like, on some real shit. Like, it's... it's, I'm not too man... I'm not, like, too manly to be like, yo, that shit was touching and it was moving because that shit is important not only for us to understand as men that we don't, you know, we don't deal with a lot of the same things and, you know, there's differences and extremes when it comes to you know social norms and all that stuff but i think for women to be able to be represented on a way in a way that they were in that video is so empowering for the young women coming up today to like see themselves because we see it all the time you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying like whether it be like i looked up to kareem campbell stevie williams brandon turner like there were people that looked like me in skateboarding that made me feel like i could be a part of it yeah or you know you guys looking up to like whatever it is these women need that these little girls need those women in these different disciplines or just in a a a position of power in general to look up to and be like i can do that and have that belief system implanted in them at a young age Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what was the sarah is she is she now the editor-in-chief or was she she a guest editor editor solo Solo magazine guest editor yeah oh okay she's a really talented photographer gotta see one of the that issue Hmm? is it out I'm sure it is. Yeah. Maybe solo. They did like a thing, right? It's out. They did like an art show type yeah. thing, right? Mm-hmm. Photo show. Yeah, yeah man. Not I just, just want to see Nike do more stuff like that because that profile exactly. was sick as fuck. Exactly. Nike's good at all that kind of yeah. stuff. They, they are, really, but they're like they could they could do more like this, yeah. where it's like this is impactful and meaningful. It's impactful and meaningful, but you also get to know the person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, like exactly. you can identify with that person, like you become a fan. Yep. Well, yeah. I meant Nike with the Nike commercial. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, good yeah, at yeah, that yeah. type of absolutely, stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. Stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, one more thing. Van's video, courtesy, mm-hmm. amazing video. Fucking was that on there? Yeah, I didn't watch that one. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> that's wait, a shame. wait. Let me go back in my notes here. Wait. Go ahead, Eldridge. He's got multiple pages. What would you think, Raj? I thought it, was, it had a good, like, feel good vibe. Good vibe, right? Yeah. Um, Big Hen. Uh huh. Courtesy video. Courtesy. I really liked it. Um. I don't want to get his name wrong, but the guy who had the last name that's my first name, what was his first name? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking Dustin about? Dustin Henry? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, what is it? Dustin? Dustin Henry. Dustin Henry, okay. He looks like Nora. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His part, I like, I really like this part the most. Not this is great. We yeah. share the same name, yeah. but like, just because like, he really killed it. Like, I'm so shit. Like, yeah. But like, the, like he has, overall. He looks like he has fun when he skates. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and that's really my like biggest thing is like people just having fun skating. Exactly. Because like, yeah. yeah. for me, it's like, at this point, for me, it's like, that's what inspires me. Just mm-hmm. people having fun. And I'm just like, because I'm like, yeah, I'm like 31. Like, I'm not going to yeah. turn pro. I'm not going to drop a crazy I, part. But like, on, don't think negative. <laughs> I mean, maybe I could turn pro. Who knows? Yeah. Like, it's hey, possible. hey, every team needs a heel. You might get a pro candle after this. Who knows? True. You're right. You're right. Pump the hey. brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to earn that shit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know? But yeah, no, I know exactly what you're saying, though. Yeah. You gotta, it's fun. Yeah, translates. Yeah, it's so well. For sure. You know what I mean. That's my biggest thing. Like I think each part that like I see now, like that's what I'm looking for. Not that I don't like anything else, but it's kind of like you know that's what really draws me in. I'm just mm-hmm. like, oh damn, they look like they're having fun. He looks like he's having fun. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. Yeah. Like that's yeah. why I started skating. That's why I'm gonna continue no matter what. You there know? you go. Yeah. Yeah. Who's a blonde hair kid? What did, what's that dude's name? Blonde hair kid. I think yeah, that's what I was talking hair. about. Was that the dude that you were talking about? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Dustin Blonde Henry. hair kid, pink shirt tucked in. Yeah, Dustin Henry. Oh, yeah. that's Dustin Henry. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, who was a? F- was that the first dude? No, he's like in the middle of the video. Okay, I thought you said the first guy. Oh, I thought. 
because I, I think he was like the second dude. Uh, oh, because I video. thought the beginning he had like it was like a montage. I thought, and then maybe I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, he had, he, everyone has like friends sprinkled in. Like yeah, Dustin Henry has like one dude who's like has like crazy braids. It's like the blindside wall ride of fake. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. dude, that was nuts. Yeah. Huh. Man, people are good at skateboarding. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, it's fucked up. That last kid, <laughs> um, like, Gagney, fucking Etienne, I don't even know how to say his fucking first name, sorry. But he was sick. He was sick, too. I want to yeah. see more of that kid. Yeah, the for the sure. dude that grinded that long ass rail that slammed in the beginning? I don't even know that guy's no. last name. This kid, he, uh, there's like a, a weird, like, hip spot. It had mm-hmm. a curb on top and does like a blunt slide 270. I'm like, and Daniel Policelli staying with him. Yeah. Like he's in the next room. Like where is that spot? I say out loud. And he's like, probably in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, think, no. He's like probably in Vancouver. Right, right. I think wow. he had like a half cab heel no slide in his part too. Like that was super good. Like oh, yeah. it was like you know I just let a heel flip. You would know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you would know. Say. That was a standout. I was Dude, like, oh shit. Um, Pedro Delfino is like triple king board slide. Oh, God, yeah, That yeah. looks fucking scary as shit. Dude, a lot yeah. of these things that people are doing look scary exactly. as shit. Exactly. Yeah. Even in that cater had that long just board the, slide. It sounded like the rail was kinked. He's like, kick, 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 kick. Like, yeah. He said it sounded like the rail was Yeah, how was it? It sounded like the rail had like What did it sound like? You can hear it in the footage. It sounded like it was like grinding over something. I wish I can contribute. I didn't watch this video. I didn't watch this video. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah. I liked it. It was a good video. Fun to watch. Yeah? Fun to watch. I, it sounds like it. Yeah. Jesus, we'll watch it. At, we'll watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you guys can get maybe we'll go, yeah, go have a drink and yeah. watch a video we'll at the some, bar. Some take cliff some cliff notes. Take some the, notes. Yeah. In the chat. Well, listen. It is time, Raj. Oh. We're going to pick a winner from the last episode, Super Chat. Yeah. People who donate money in the Super Chat, we greatly appreciate it. Holy we shit. We have fun doing the Super yeah. Chats, the are YouTube gonna, are premieres. Are we going to a winner next week, too? So. Do you want to? You're the Keep one trying to get shit rid of shit out, out of your I know. house. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage people to donate. <laughs> <laughs> well, people donate whether we give them shit or not. They do it out of the kindness yeah. of their hearts. So yeah. it don't matter. But Osiris and, and Ramon have donated like yeah. 400 a piece. Slice bread, all these Slice people. Bread. But, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, people are donating. That's fucking incredible. Let's, yeah. let's, let's return the favor. Yeah. Right? Fuck, yeah. Let's pick a couple winners each week. Or every other week, Did I, and I, we'll I, send him a couple things. Oh, What's good! Up? Sliced bread, whatever. I, I hooked him up with um, that Terry Kennedy board. Oh, that sick. was here. Wow, I've been getting, getting some whole complete. Yeah, some shit in my fucking requests. I've been seeing people uh, there you go, getting Raj. stoked on what they got. Here's your, uh, here's your thing. Right. Let's. You know what? You want to read them the rules? What are the rules? Well, basically, how to if I call your name, I, what they gotta do? <laughs> oh. Con, uh, if 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 you if they call your name, if Raj calls your name, if I pick, yeah, if you pick it, yes, yeah. if Raj calls a name, email contest at the nine club dot com with a photo screenshot of your receipt. Yes, we need to see that in order to verify who you are. That's right. It That's helps. Right. It yeah. helps. Yeah. yeah, dude, we had some dude be like, "I'm Ramon." I'm like. The real Ramon already fucking <laughs> see. Yeah. People are shady. I told you, yeah, that, shady that, that email okay. is gonna be flooded with Raj, shit. Pick a winner, bro. Pick a winner. <laughs> oh, just pick one. Just off the top of your head, just pick there you one. Go. Just off the top of them, yeah. <laughs> we just have one for you. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Hold on. Let's let Big Hen Dog. Oh, oh Ben, Ben. Yeah. He's an honorary member of the Nine Club this mm-hmm. week. You want me to get it? Should you want to crawl there? over here? You oh, just, yeah, well, you crawl, yeah, okay. crawl over I'll here. Crawl no, over. no. Okay. Go, grab, go grab him. <gasps> oh, shit. Actually, just, have, have the two of them. Is okay, one or two? you guys pick. Give Ben a big hen dog. Watch out the camera, dude. Yeah. Don't block the fucking Eldridge. Lens. Just oh, drop, yes. drop the bowl okay. off. You don't, okay. Okay. Eldridge. Eldridge, just, just drop. leave it. <laughs> He's yeah, holding it for them. Okay, can't look. Is she everywhere? You said what? You should pick one. Okay, the great Negro Damas. Here we go. Let's see. Let's he's see. Cho- he's chosen one. Is this one. just one right just now? One. Just he's one. chosen okay. one. Yeah. There you go. How many are we, how are we doing? Three. 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 Right. Three. And Should I pick one? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Steezus, pick, pick one, bro. Steezus has got his hand in the cookie jar. Mm. He's mm. shuffling around trying mm. to find that right cookie. Mm. Some of them are chocolate chips. Some of he's them are, doing Kegels. Some of them are... Uh, <laughs> 
sugar cookies. Well, you know now that you mentioned it. <laughs> there, squeeze. There might squeeze, be a thin squeeze. mint in there too, but he's looking for the right one. Here we go. Picked it. Ooh, okay. Right. Let's get it. Who, Raj, who'd you pick? I didn't pick anyone. I gave it to this guy. Oh, Eldridge. Read off the who it is. You want bro. me to go first? Yeah, read off. Right, Who's the go. name? How much? Is... Uh... Give it, give it back to Raj. Oh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Spell it out. Glenn, I would, there's so many things written on yeah, here. Written the bottom. This the one bottom. right here, right here. Yeah, yeah. Glenn Cl- Clubu? Clubau? Let me see it, Club- bro. I'm good. I'm good at reading names. No, you're not. Oh. Yeah. Good luck. Glenn <laughs> Claybow. Glenn Claybow. Spell there's it. no clay. C- there's no uh, Y. Cl- Clubau. Clubau. Glenn That's Clubau. What I said. Donated a, a dollar ninety nine. What are you covering it up for? Uh, What's going on, bro? Dollar ninety nine. Go ahead, uh, big hen dog. All right. Well, we have Manuel or Manuel. Manuel. Mowgli Herrera. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he put love you guys so much. Yes. Donated four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Was that all commercial? Four ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? Go ahead. Is this, who do you got? <laughs> Uh, this one I had a little back and forth with in our chat. Last oh, did you? Time. Good yeah. back and forth or bad back and it forth? It was good back and forth. Good, good. And it's funny that you said uh, something about cookies because yes. the profile picture is actually chocolate chip cookies. Is it really? I swear to God. Wow. See that, Eldridge? Damn you. Know good. What you Thank do. you, bro. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Go ahead. And we got Nine Club Gal. Oh, her. Nine Club Gal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, Caleb McNeely, shout out RVA. She donated $20. 20 bucks. Amazing. There you go. You got um, Wait, dude. Glenn Clabow. I didn't read this whole shit. Go Sa- Sour Solution <laughs> no, number no, 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 two. No, 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 no. That's the title of the fucking episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought I missed some shit reading. You guys <laughs> we, all reading some shit? Next time, we will not pass the okay. thing to Eldridge. Thank you. No. What the fuck? Why, you, why, why does he need to grab it? I'm just having grab it and you can read the, the names again. Oh, grab theirs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Grab theirs. But yeah, we appreciate everybody, oh, yeah. man. See, I didn't have these things at okay, the bottom. Okay, I'll just at the give bottom. me this. <laughs> give me this. Thing. No. This <laughs> is, they didn't leave. Comments and people didn't. Oh, yeah. that's cool. The comments are cool. I just want to tell everybody that we love you all. Mm-hmm. Love the fuck whether out you of donate guys. or not. This is just a little bonus because people yeah. donate money to us out of the goodness of their hearts, yeah. just to try to get back, try to support the Nine Club here, and uh, mm-hmm. you know we just want to give them a little something. You know, yeah. do you have a little contest? We'll pick a little pick of names. And there you go, Nine Club gal, Manuel Mowgli Herrera, damn, and Glenn Clabau. Email us at <laughs> contest at the nine club.com. Thank you, Raj. And screen grab your uh, your receipt. Thank you again. Because you do get a receipt from YouTube. That's right. That's right. So prove it. Yep. Speaking of prove, prove it. Prove who you are. <laughs> prove it, motherfucker. And uh, it. also send your address shady. as well, and we'll send you a, like, a little gift back. There you go. There and you people go. have been getting their gift packs and, and this some cool shit. Listen, right. something from the background. You don't know what it might be. It yeah. might be a book. It and might be... Ramon uh, ended up with a board. And a board. Stuff, yeah. You know? It it's could whatever. be my shirt. I could give him the shirt. It could be... Uh, well, it could be we, a zine of Big Hen Dog. We could, it could be. You know? <laughs> I'm, not giving that, that I'm not giving that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding on that what one. What else could it be here, Raj? Let me look and see around here. What it could it be? It could be a... Uh, it could be a yellow helmet. Hmm. Interesting. You yeah. didn't have that. Could be a fucking Azima. Could be a magazine pin. from the shelf. You never know. Or could be yeah. some trolls. It could be some hot sauce behind you, Raj. Bro, that's just fuck. Could be whatever. Yeah. That's you know? just hot as fuck. Anyway, like I said, we appreciate everybody. I got donates. a DM from same kid doing the bomb, and he's like crying. I, I had to, I've had the bomb beyond insanity and Mad Dog three fifty seven. Both of them shits are hottest. Like, yeah. don't do that to yourself. Big hen dog. Thank you, guys. We Thank appreciate you, you sitting in for yeah. Kelly while he's Hell out on yeah. assignment at uh, Tampa Pro. He's laughing somewhere yep. <laughs> right now. You know, His thumbs pressing on something. Saying, <laughs> "Dude." <laughs> Dude, hard. Dude, hard. <laughs> Dude, no. just want to thank you for being part of skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever need me again, you know, I'm always available. You know oh, yeah, I mean? for sure. Hell for sure. Yeah. You guys let me know. If Eldridge just 
gets food poisoned or something, I got you. <laughs> My dog. <laughs> First don't, one. Don't eat anything he gives you. Yeah. 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 I'm not eating with you anymore. anymore. I don't think Bay Hen Dog would do that to you, Elvish, but I would be careful. Don't, don't eat his rice. <laughs> <laughs> rice life. No, rice life. Seriously. Seriously. You don't fuck around and have mud butt. <laughs> there you go. Hey, seriously, though, Big Hen Dog, thank you, bro. It's a no, pleasure. Thank you, guys. It's a thank pleasure. You thank you for sitting over here me, with me at the kids' table, man. There you go. Yeah. 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 We were at one day late on Black History Month, but, you know, yeah. Every every day is black. Well, there you go. A few days late. There you go. To when it, that's, when it right. Airs, but yeah. that's right. right. That's right. That's right. 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 But ex- exactly, we celebrate Black History every celebrate every day. Every day. Yeah. Every day. The great heel flippers of our our generation. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. right. Especially for today, Chris being officially honorary. Thank you, bro. It's a big Yo, moment. This like, is a moment. March first, two thousand nineteen. Chris was inducted into the Black. Honorary but Hall wait of Fame. A minute, but you've always been telling me this, bro. I mean, why? I, why is it just today that I, I because, like? Is it official today? Yeah, because I've been what? telling you just one on one. Now, like oh, everyone, the, world. the people, oh, like, now it's to the world. The people you know? know, you've been inducted. Just like you know, wow. Run DMC had to get inducted into the hip hop, the a, rock and roll Hall of I give, Fame. And, did I give a speech or something? Do I, I feel like a? Let's run down all the great Chris Hill flips. You know what I mean? Actually, wait a minute. Um, didn't you have a hill flip in Rick Howard's part in? Did I? Fully flared, I think. Oh, uh, nose grind nollie heel flip out. Boom. No, what about the over the up the bump over the oh thing? up the bump over over the barrier? Oh, yep. Yeah. And, yep. Uh, chocolate chocolate tour. tour. Yeah. 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 Actually, that. Yeah. Thank yeah. fucking. Yeah. I appreciate Yo, you that. Know what, bro. Is there a story behind that? Let's. Was there? I think you told a story about it. The only story behind it was it was literally my last try. I was trying it forever. Richard Mulder was there. All these guys were there. I was trying it and I was like, dude, I was dead. I said last one and did it. Nice. Uh, Let's run back. Chris, I need to apologize ahead. to you as oh. a man. I know you're not on the Mount Rushmore, but you're a, a honorable mention. You know? Thank you, bro. Thank How you. How about podcast? What's so Rushmore. crazy? I don't even <laughs> think you're you don't a think heel? I, Heel flipper? He's a heel flipper. No, that's more than a kick flipper. Yeah, he's a heel flipper. You know what I think? It's the weird, like, gray area is he's a Nolly and switch heel flipper. Yeah, Yeah, that's what I feel like is more. Yeah. Why is that a gray area? It's a heel flip. I just don't. Yeah. It's a Nolly heel, but switch heel. Handdog's talking about heel heel flips. I mean, it's it's all around. If really? It's switch, Nolly, like, regular. Okay. Just talking about, yeah, if you just, because, you know. I feel like kickflips dominate for the most part, you know, like uh, it definitely yeah. dominate. Everybody's got their flip, their flick, and every, yeah. you know, it's their mm-hmm. shit. So to see right. someone from one heel flipper to another, Thank you know, you, bro. and a manual ass dude, manual ass dude, <laughs> true. Story. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's like, I love right. you, Damn, you, I love hit, you here, yeah, bro. dude. You this and him great. Dog are like saying, we're the same guy, we're the same guy. Yeah, this, this is connection is a little weird. These <laughs> yeah. dudes are docking right now. We'll see you next. We'll see you next episode, bro. I'm just trying to come back. Yeah, I'm just trying to. We'll butter him up you know I'm just like, you're yeah. doing a hell of a job <laughs> hell of a job <laughs> he's Kelly, trying to facts. secure this spot it's easy when it's facts you know what Kel- I'm saying thank you bro <laughs> Kelly will be in the kitchen next episode <laughs> you will be maybe we'll turn the button on for you again I don't know man maybe we'll turn the button on let me know just call my phone you know yeah. I'll be there 24 <laughs> 7 easy 24/7. as that yeah, if yeah. I called you at 3 37 in the morning you would pick up I would prefer you call me at 316, but yeah. Okay. I'll be, okay. I'll be, oh, I'll be yes. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Amazing. Eldridge, Yo. thank you so much for uh, being here, bro. Thank you, Appreciate dude. That. Any last words you'd like to add to the episode before we leave? Um, you know what? Raj, any last words? Wait, oh. wait, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh. I had a, I had some, yeah, it happened to me today. I was thinking about. Oh, please share. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about this show and like the, the song. Do, 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 yeah, do, 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 great song. Thank yeah. you. Amazing song. Yes. I think Bob Marley said it once. The, uh, Music, when you uh, feel it, when you hear it, it, feel, it, you feel no pain. Yes. Yes. I was walking through Whole Foods. Uh, Whole Foods. <laughs> Whole what is happening right now? I was walking through Whole Foods today. <laughs> yes. I look over and there's like a family with like a couple babies. And I'm hearing what's playing through, you know, the Whole Foods Was it speakers. the song? No. Oh. It was, it was... When I think about you, I touch myself. I touch myself. <laughs> sure. 
That is just a crazy song to be playing at Whole Foods. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Thank that, you that for sharing. Weird. That is weird. That is weird. Yeah. That's all I had to say. What did you go home and do? Touch myself. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you, bro. Raj, any last words, bro? I'm just happy to have a big hand dog here. Yeah, man. Big Hen Dog, Hell bro. Yeah. Finally, yeah. It's it been a, a long road. Nice if you don't know Big Hen Dog, man, go in and visit him at the Huff store on Fairfax, yeah. man. Tell him, tell him C Rob sent you. He'll give you a nice little discount, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll figure it out. As soon as they get there, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding to anybody who think, th- thinks I'm serious. But, uh, Steezus, anything else you'd like to add for the uh, before we uh, get the hell out of here? Man, you know, it is, it's, you know, Kelly's my boy. Yes. We always have fun over here, but it mm-hmm. is nice to have my man Big Hen Dog there over here with me. You there know, you go. we got a long history together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, the mm-hmm. Darkness Brothers are over here holding it down. Mm-hmm. You know, fuck your couch. There you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is a good one, man. This, we're both very smiley black men. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a good time. This has been a fun episode, though. Like, It's been good. We touched on some real shit. We touched on some skateboarding. We yeah. touched on some, like, goofy shit. This is... This is what it's all about, man. And I could experience. We talked about Kegels. Kegels. Yeah. You know? Jesus touched on some balls. I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> nah, this is dope, man. I love oh, this shit. Oh, man. Bro. Big hen dog. Any last words before we uh, part some words of ways wisdom. out of here? Words of wisdom. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a few. Number one, make sure you eat your rice. Okay. Live that rice life. Rice, rice life. life. Yes. Yeah, so yep. salmon is very important. Okay. Um, Anything on the rice? Soy sauce? Plain? Do you mix in Sasha? some garlic it's in, really, the, in the rice, it's maybe? Really, you know, that's the beauty of it. It's, it's really you. whatever you, yeah, okay. you can get creative with. Choose like your adventure. own adventure. Yeah. Choose your own. Yeah, it's just really whatever you feel. I love feel. rice, man. Yeah. Do you ever do milk in the rice? Yeah, no, yeah, I've oh, done it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know what he's talking about. Milk, like real yeah. milk? That's like more like a breakfast thing, right? Yeah, with yeah. cinnamon and honey and shit. That's the beauty of it. You what can eat for breakfast, fuck? lunch, You dinner. never had no that black shit? black ass ain't putting no, you la- you lactose by default. You not <laughs> like, you ain't putting no milk in your rice. Yeah, but I'm just a cultural ass dude, as long with a manual ass dude, and I just, you know, have experienced it all when it comes okay. to rice. I respect it. Bro. Don't knock it till you try it. Too. I mean, I it's might good. put some oat milk in there or some shit. Okay, that's uh, what I'm saying. Okay, I live With in Santa Monica. Cinnamon. I'm not like, you know, I'm... Helter's getting I'm bougie. mad about the milk and the rice. Have you ever tried that shit? Sorry to yeah, interrupt yeah. your shit, I, but I, the I, rice yeah. got me like yo. But some white rice with some uh, why got be white? Some butter and because <laughs> Black History Month is over. Black we History Month is over. <laughs> you get all the other months, yeah. all right? <laughs> we get the shortest month of the year. Every four years, we'll get one extra day. Uh, white rice with sugar, sugar, sh- sugar, <laughs> sabado. <laughs> White rice with sugar and butter. Oh yeah, that's just butter. Fire. That good. That's yeah, 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 yeah. that's a move. Brown sugar, really good. Uh, nah. Of I fuck with brown sugar, but I'm talking like sugar in sugar, the raw. Sugar. You can't do like you don't do like white granulated sugar. That shit's like mm. that's the white trans oh, poison. Okay. You know, that's you don't fuck with that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sorry, you're about the right life. Rice, right. rice life. Rice life. Yeah. You about that right life. <laughs> sorry, you're about the rice life. I'll yeah. let you uh, let you have your your moment on the pedestal. No, I think yeah. I mean, we you know everyone knows how important it is to me and to everyone. It's a cultural thing, and it's just the most. The, the best food in the world. I think I spoke about this last time I was on the show. And we can't really stress it enough, you know? Oh, but yeah. for my very, very last words, I think I've only used one or two, so I'm going to just drop one more. Go ahead. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was solid. Thank you for that, bro. <laughs> that, that that hit home. <laughs> thank you. I, I know he said thank you, but I, that, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that felt good. I, I, I did forget to mention that uh, Big Hen Dog has been on the show before. He's been on um, the the final uh, the, the flare f- the flare premiere mm-hmm. live show we did and the uh, skate copa skate copa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right, Adidas skate copa. But this is official. This is yeah. This you official. now he stamped. You're in, here. Yeah. You got your passport stamped today. Like I'm saying, yeah. yeah, I'm honored. You know, I'm like, really really honored. Yeah. yeah. And could, what better be like regular. what better place for you to sit than just the next right to, here with me, man. Next to one more. You guys can walk my nigga. My <laughs> nigga. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out. Of here. <laughs>